What is up, everybody, and welcome to The WAN Show. Honestly, it's not really that big of a story, but it is absolutely hilarious. Elon Musk told his... <laughs> told his sponsors to go f*** themselves. That's one way to get them back. Yeah, I mean... I, I, you, you gotta play hard to get. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I tried that with my ex. <laughs> No, that I called her X. No, actually, I never tried that. Anyway, that's, that, it was a great title, so what are you going to do? Uh, in other news, uh, D-Brand. There's a D-Brand and Casetify update. Oh, yeah, right. I remember how I was going to segue between them. I was going to be like, speaking of our sponsors, and you yeah, go, yeah, go yeah. f*** yourself. Yeah, D-Brand. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. we're going to give you guys the update on what's going on with Casetify. Don't worry, we still love D-Brand. What else we got going on here? Uh, I not prepared at all. You had so much time. I, I honestly did. I had an incredible amount of time. <laughs> I'm so late today. You didn't even look at the dock. And you didn't even take a topic that I wanted to shout out. It's remarkable. <laughs> I'll just take a drink of water. Uh, um, there, was a, there, was an, uh, there was a tech conference that had fake uh, female oh, speakers. Oh, no. Yeah, that was almost the title of the video today, but yeah. Luke was afraid that people would just see the title and we would get canceled again. Yeah, so... I thought it was a great title. It was like, f fake women are a problem in tech. Yeah. yeah so, but it's f but people would have clicked it. Uh, they people, sure would They would have clicked it, but no, no, it's that they were actually fake, fabricated, yes. yeah. made up. They were lied about. So we're going to talk about that because it's yeah. terrible. It's actually really lame. Like, it, yeah, so we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah. But we won't talk about that with that as the title, okay? Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, what? what is this? V viewer sent metal screwdriver and mining backpack? Oh! oh that, that must one. be why Tynan's here. Oh! All right, let's roll that intro. Oh, that's sick. I bet that sponsors never watch this part, so go f yourself, MSI. Go, no, just, kidding, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Who, who, who are all the sponsors? MSI, uh, Backblaze, and uh, oh, oh, really? Manscaped. Hey, all right, cool. That's so, great. I don't hear the bleep on my end. <laughs> so for just a fraction of a moment, I'm <laughs> just. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. All right, why don't we jump into not really that big of a topic, but let's get it out of the way. Uh, earlier this week, mm. uh, following major advertisers leaving the X, formerly Twitter, platform due to Musk endorsing a tweet that, honestly, I am not even going to repeat. Uh, Musk did a video interview with the New York Times where he was briefly contrite, calling it perhaps one of his worst posts, then declared, don't advertise. If someone's going to try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go f*** yourself. The um, f*** was repeated several times. <laughs> so are they in a relationship now? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Including, at one point, Hey Bob, an apparent reference to Disney's Bob Iger, quote, What this advertising boycott is going to do is, it is going to kill the company, and the whole world will know that those advertisers killed the company. CEO Linda Yaccarino uh, was apparently sitting stone-faced in the front row for the interview. <laughs> wow. Let me tell you, as someone who has <laughs> gone through some stuff, you know, um, after bringing someone on to help me in a leadership role quite recently, I don't think this is how you do it. <laughs> I don't think you're giving Ms. Yaccarino, um, a lot of options, a lot of ammo. Well, I was going to say, I don't think you're exactly tossing her a layup, but it's yeah. more like, I don't think you're even giving her a ball. <laughs> you like kicked it out of the stadium. <laughs> Go get it. And then while she was gone, you burned it to the ground. Yeah. And no, oh, I don't man. think that the majority of people are going to blame Disney for the downfall no. of Twitter. I mean, even the people who love Twitter love that it is a flaming pile of absolute garbage. It is, it is a 
fucking dumpster fire and it can go f itself, I think is sort of the mentality. I think that while there are absolutely things that are valuable about Twitter, like I haven't found a replacement for example, creator messaging for how to No, I wasn't even going to say that we've talked about that in the past, but I haven't found a replacement for staying up to date on my like juicy creator scandals. And for me, that's not just a guilty pleasure. There's definitely a little bit of it, <laughs> but it's also just being in tune with what the heck is going on in my industry. Like I should, I should probably have some idea, you I feel know, like there's gotta be an option like, like live stream fails or I don't know. You can, you can like go to Dick Cerdo or something like that. Like they, well, yeah, what, well, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You're not going to live stream fails. That's not going to have everything yeah, I, there. Yeah. I don't do that. That's fair enough. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, <clears throat> come on guys, let, let, let me know. Like, is there, is there a viable alternative? Because it's tailored enough for me at this point that it knows that I'm probably going to click on, you know, <clears throat> someone who is under fire for selling $8 cookies or whatever else. Um, which to be clear, I think some people kind of misinterpreted what I said about that. I, I am not taking a stance on that. I have not done any research into the whole like Pokemon cookies thing, which I think is mostly blown over at this point. But I, yeah, I, I, I seemed like, anymore. it seemed like some people thought that I was like taking a side in this. I've never tried the cookies I've never tried the cookies that they are allegedly very similar to. I, I, they're cookies. <laughs> I have a lot of questions about buying cookies online in general. <laughs> yeah. That's sort of, why, why are you shopping for cookies on the internet? I didn't, I didn't even make it all the way to the internet is for digital cookies only. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no physical. All cookies. right. Thanks. It's been a great show. <laughs> <laughs> oh man um anyway the point is like I, I i wouldn't know about stuff like that and over the course of my career i have how do i put it i have made at least one questionable choice when it came to deciding <laughs> on people to collab with and if no, I had, <laughs> at least one eh? I, I, that's all i'm saying because otherwise i might end up identifying someone okay. right. <laughs> i don't want look i've told you this a hundred times my life is a drama free zone i oh, yeah. sometimes violate my policy <laughs> <laughs> but it is my goal it is an aspirational <laughs> statement okay and the point is, if I had stayed up to date on some of this stuff, I may have made different decisions at least once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, uh, yeah, I, nah, I'm not going to go into that further. Yeah. It's great because no one in the Ooh. chat seems to agree about who I'm talking about, which is telling in and of itself. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh, uh, uh, oh, oh, okay. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I completely mis misread someone's. Uh, I misread someone's thing there. So, okay. You know what though? Maybe there's room for another interpretation here. Do you think that there is a group of people that would blame advertisers for the downfall of Twitter because 100%. they don't because they don't realize that Twitter was never profitable before yep. and that making it worse and getting in a bunch of legal trouble is I, probably not going to help it survive i guarantee you at least some people would uh yeah. is it just as simple as as that elon what, said it or would they have come up with that on their own uh both i think to be honest really? I think there's more okay. because elon said it but i think i think some people because people were already on this train okay, this well, is not a new train now hold on a second then tell me this then yeah if if d brand Okay, or MSI for that matter, both of whom I have told to go fuck themselves tonight. If if either of them were to stop advertising with us, or, I, I feel like I feel like doing that to Dbrand makes them want to advertise with you more. But, <laughs> but MSI, I'm not sure about yeah, actually. There's know. there's definitely people at MSI that I have definitely told to go fuck themselves. Just you know, as lighthearted like banter. Fun, yeah, but not everyone. I don't have a personal relationship with everyone there. Uh -huh. um, so. Good luck, me. So we'll see. Yeah. But okay, uh, let's let's say I didn't directly attack them. If I if I said something, okay, okay, okay. Here's a controversial issue. Let's take uh -huh. let's take the issue of um, it, uh, Taiwan versus oh. uh, what it was it ROC or um, that's Taiwan. Yeah, yeah. I, I forget. I forget I what think. the yeah whatever the two. I think ROC is Taiwan and POC is China. I'm sorry, I I don't remember. But the the point is that. 
PRC? There's there's some debate over the name of that island. So why don't we just why don't we leave it there? Sure. And and I could see, for example, um, a certain brand kind of going, okay, yeah, that was a red that was a red line, uh, you know. Linus took a stance. He called it Taiwan. Uh, he doesn't even know the other name for it. So, <laughs> whatever, right? The, the point is, you know, someone could someone could hear that and go, okay, yeah, red line. If all of a sudden, you know, LTT doesn't survive anymore, whose fault is it? I th- I think. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think a lot of it depends on viewpoint. Because I think it's going to depend on what you think of the initial statement. I guess so, but like from a from a from just a I don't know, just like a, almost like a free will standpoint. Advertisers are not obligated to advertise on I, a particular platform. I also feel like at, at least like for I me, just, I'm sure I don't follow people, that logic. I'm sure there's people. Oh yeah, no, I completely. That's really stupid. Obviously, yeah, agreed. Um, but I, I, I also, I'm sure some people care. I've never understood the like we're going to pull advertising on like even this type of content because advertising on it means we endorse it, whatever. Like when you're taking the shotgun approach and just advertising on everything, like who cares? I've never seen a brand um, have like a automated pre-roll ad on something that I didn't like or agree with and be like, I must cancel all affiliation with this brand. Like I just... Well, I, I'm assuming they're taking a shotgun approach, and I just don't care. You also understand how online advertising works to a degree. Okay. I don't think that you know your <laughs> your 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 great aunt Mabel necessarily <laughs> understands that. This is a hypothetical person. Just <laughs> don't worry about it. I hope I have a great and, aunt Mabel. <laughs> and in the and in the past, traditionally, that was the case. Advertisers would select television programs that were somewhat in alignment with, at the very least, the demographics they were trying to reach because it was all so much more manual back then. And they would, they would tailor the messaging to who they thought they were talking to. And yeah, obviously, the way that that works is very different now. And I think that, you know, with the rise of the internet, um, people can be into a lot of stuff that wasn't necessarily on cable TV, you know, in the 80s in North America, for example. Um, and so these were decisions that brands were never faced with before is, are we, are, you know, are we willing to, to take the, the small hits against us from the people who still think that we have anything to do with the choice of, you know, where our stuff, and you know what, actually that's not even true because you do still control it to a degree. Like if you're, let's say on a, a pornographic website mm. and you saw an advertiser there. Okay. Let's say you saw, let's say you saw crest white strips, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, advertising, like, do you, do you like white teeth? Oh, Are you into whoa, white whoa, teeth? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that whoa. your thing? Just, just slow, just slow, slow. Give the gift just of crest go. white strips, right? Like, so tell me, tell me you wouldn't. <laughs> Do you hear this, Tynan? Do you hear this? Tell me you wouldn't have an association there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you also like mouthwash. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, man. Uh, that would probably actually see be, good sales. That would be hilarious. I, 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 sure. Man, especially the second example there, I just would think would be so funny. I like, would probably buy their product. I honestly, it might that drive would, sales. Uh, Gorilla marketing. Try this. Someone oh should try this. Oh my god. <laughs> I would respect them so much. Okay. But now let's go. Let's go one more degree of separation. We right? got you to talk. No, we won already. How long what? has the show been running for? What? I don't know. Not even that long. Remember, he was like, I'm going to try to not respond to... The- oh, yeah, we got him. We got him. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant at all. No, no. like... Uh, like Goal s- post moving? Yeah. Yeah, uh, whatever. 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 Exactly, whatever. Whatever. Get wrecked. Um, scrub. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the point is, let's go one degree of separation further, though. Okay. And let's let's hear about... Or let's, let's put ourselves in the mind of the person who reads about this scandalous behavior from... I don't even know who markets... Procter & Gamble or something, probably. I, I don't even know. Maybe it's 3M. It's probably, it's probably thermal paste in there anyway. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sorry, sorry. My great-grandmother... Um, <laughs> 
brushed her teeth with baking soda her whole life, which I didn't realize was an option, even <laughs> though like the best toothpastes are the ones that are like with baking with soda. It's like, soda. oh, so I could just get a box. Of, you could re really? Anyway, she never had a cavity in her life. And I'm just like, that's cool. The year is now insert year. I think I'll just use like a baking soda toothpaste. It's minty. It makes my I mean, mouth taste nice. It takes some mint flavor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but like, um, <clears throat> but that's pretty cool. I don't remember how I got onto this subject. The point is <laughs> that we're a degree of separation removed and someone reads about but I just this, like, this scandalous Okay. So my, big, my thing. biggest thing here. And is, they go, how could they support that? How could they support that industry? My, my biggest thing here is I, it's, it's not a. The website itself, the, the idea of the website itself, because you were describing one where the idea mm -hmm. of the website is potentially contentious. The idea of Twitter is not really contentious. It's text and I mean, community interaction. Yes and but no. It, but it's, 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 by it's that logic, it's this, actions it's and just, comments of the CEO. By that logic, this is a video site. And this is also a video site. But it's a video site for a very specific content, which is contentious. Sure, but I think what's but contentious... Twitter isn't for that content. But I think what's contentious about it is supporting that industry, if you want to really boil it down. But and this so, is specifically comments from the CEO. I know, so it comes down to not wanting to support... But plenty of people use this site that openly, viciously hate that person. But it's the, but it's the risk. It's the risk of having <sighs> your, uh, your brand message next to something that is highly controversial and or offensive. If that's true, they should have been off Twitter years ago. Which is, I think, the, the point that I was digging for in all of this. Yeah. That is the most valid take. The fact that they are turning this into an opportunity to, to posture or virtue signal or whatever else it is, is... It just comes across disingenuous to me. It's like if you if you don't support you know having your advertising next to content you find offensive, then honestly speaking, you might as well remove it from the internet. Yeah, you shouldn't be advertising on Reddit. That's for sure. No, uh, not I, YouTube. I don't know if Reddit allows <laughs> advertisers to select specific subreddits or specific genres. Probably, probably as no an advertiser, idea. you can say, "Look, I don't want any SF NSFW subreddits or something That's like that." That's probably your only two flags, though. I, I, I'd be surprised. I'm sure Reddit likes wants to offer more tailored advertising. Like if I'm if I'm in the LTT subreddit, it's always full of like tech ads or gaming ads and stuff like that. Like I don't get anything for like, no. shoes. Gonna have to sign. I, I Mind you, that could be just because they know I never buy shoes. <laughs> Why would I? It's, it I does. It does Gross. say target your audience, reach customers yeah. where they're the most passionate and engaged. So you can probably, yeah, pick like a style of subreddit or something like that. Question. What's up? Is it time to start an X days until Twitter dies pool? And yes, I did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? It didn't even phase me because I didn't even think about it as X. Like, it's just, it's such a weird. <sighs> um, Is it time to, like, are we within the sort of 180 day? Like, it's got to no, be. It's I don't gotta think be, so. Really? Yeah. Do you think he'll put more money in? Because I don't think a third party, I don't, I don't think an outside investor is going to after what happened to the last ones. <laughs> They'd have to be idiots. I mean, the last ones, I, I don't. No offense, uh, man. See, how, how am I going to maintain my drama-free zone <laughs> when I say things like, no offense, but if you invested billions of dollars in Twitter, you're a f***ing idiot. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. If, if your goal was getting a financial return out of it. Yeah, you know. yeah. I mean, that's true. If your goal was something else, if your goal was, you know, cozying up to Musk or or, or whatever, the, I don't or the know. fellow investor. I, I don't I don't know. I, I don't know what your goal was. If your goal was something else and that helps you sleep at night or sure, whatever, yeah. then you know what? You made a good decision. But if your goal was the primary goal of investing, <laughs> which is to make money. I'm I'm so sorry. So that's, that's an oof. Not, yeah. yeah. Um yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I like. Ugh. Oh no! I def I offended dozens of billionaires. <laughs> <laughs> I I think I'll be okay without them. You know, I, I go uh, off of the DMs page on Twitter sometimes and just go like, "What's happening out there?" Not that often, but I'll poke around, and yeah. it's insane. Yeah, I. I <laughs> Like, my comment of, like, they should have left a long time ago. I don't feel like the, whatever the home button page is, I don't know what it's called, 
for you or something. Yeah. I don't know. I don't um, remember. Whatever page that is has been just complete chaos and debauchery forever, and it still is. Like, that's just, I don't know. Like, Captain Slip says, uh, I don't think they're dying anytime soon. Every social network insert I see in the news about anything is always an embedded tweet. Never Mastodon, never Threads. It's, it's still happening on Twitter first and foremost. And you know what? I don't deny that. It is. Their momentum The problem is, is the money. They're not a public company anymore. They have to be funded somehow. They can't just take money from the world. Um, and like he was saying, unless because it's not a public company, to gain money, he either needs to inject it himself, uh, which as far as I know, the only thing he has been willing to put on the line is shares no dollar dollars um no i think he i think he, or no, he's he, gonna have to get more no, he sold shares for cash oh did to make he? the purchase yeah yeah oh, okay. if i recall correctly i thought he put the shares up as like collateral or something you know what uh okay i'm not gonna lie when i don't it, remember when it passed i could be wrong past mortgages and like basic buy stock it go up make money it go down <laughs> lose money it's not my world. Me neither. It's 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 one of those things where I I would probably need more than the fingers on both of my hands to count the number of times I've had to look up exactly how shorting a stock work stock works. Like fundamentally, I I, I like I like kind of understand it. You you're you're committing to buy later, but at a lower price. So if it goes down, then you make money. Like I, 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 okay, but then the number of times that I've like landed on Wikipedia, <laughs> read through it, gone, okay, this is exactly the mechanism, and then promptly okay. forgotten about it, and then it's come up in the news again. And I'm like, oh, man, this is so frustrating. I knew how this worked. I get okay, okay. How does it work again? <laughs> like, just I'm sorry. Uh, TPRNL says the for you tab is totally based on who you follow. I don't believe that. Uh, just remove the rotten apples in who you follow. Yeah. Okay. It's like a bunch of tech people. There's people I follow for work. There used to be people that I followed that would just straight up like just porn and it would show up in my feed and I'd be like, what are you doing? <laughs> do, like, do you know that this like shows to everyone that you've done this i don't know yeah but like i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna dm a grown man and be like bt dubs hey everyone, why are you horny on main everyone sees what you're into and i really didn't follow you for that <laughs> and i would prefer if you didn't um i don't know it's a funny thing because the way that i was raised was honestly pretty open about that like when I was when I was But you're effectively posting it to well, everyone else. No, no hold on, There's hold a on. Different no, when I was young, okay, I I have family members, friends, and even my own house that would have okay, more on the artful side, but definitely have large, very nude prints, you know, in their houses. Um, you know, I, 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 I visited like family friends who definitely just had pinups literally pinned up like, you know, in their bathroom or in their house or whatever, you know, calendars, uh, openly on in display. The garage. Yep. My, um, one of my parental units, I'm just not going to name them just to make it easier. Um, so that I don't have to answer questions about this later. Cause I can just say, Oh no, I was referring to the other one. Um, <laughs> one of my, one of my parental units had a deck of playboy playing cards, mm. uh, or either playboy or penthouse. Like, like Some. I don't think playboy because it was not that classy. So it must've been <laughs> like penthouse or hustler or something. But like I, I had access to those at, you know, eight or nine and yet I'm actually hyper conservative about that sort of thing. Like I, 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 I see people just who are like, like and, and so like I, what I'm trying to explain is I grew up with it just being normal to just like have pornography in your house. And, but to me, the idea of broadcasting that on <laughs> to Twitter, the internet, to um, these people that follow you for tech content or whatever. It I is, mean, at the, knows? at the very least, I, I would, I, I would, personally if i felt if i felt compelled to share it and you know what i'm i'm not judging the kinds of shared experiences that people want to have i i actually am not sure but i just maybe an alt account. have an alt and you can link to it and say like this is the not safe for work alt whatever that's fine but put it behind you know 
make me take another step or indicate really 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 early on that this is like something that you do on there or something i don't know hi aj bye aj what and are you looking for? Do you need Hold something? on, Luke, this is breaking news. Yes. Um, clickbait works. <laughs> That's right. Experts agree. <laughs> All you have to do <laughs> is put this in your live stream title. <laughs> also, deep brand language. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. This is a Christian Minecraft server. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> they can't they they said a mean word to us that's not okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we only implied a mean word <laughs> <laughs> anywho oh uh, boy actually I, I i haven't even looked at what viewership is like for the stream overall did this did this work on everybody <laughs> Whoa, okay, it's pretty good. <laughs> Usually it's not that much this early in the show. Man, we should say that every week. Yeah, cool. We should just find a sponsor and just be like, yeah, I'll f you and f you. I mean, it won't last long, but boy, will it ever be a wild ride. <laughs> Wancho will do slightly better for a few weeks. <laughs> Hey, maybe they'll make it up in, like, screwdrivers. Hey, yeah, yeah. Should be fine. Or, yeah. uh, get, uh, hoodies. Hoodies. Jacob S. got the hoodie. Hey, nice. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get the laptop bag later. Hey, speaking of Creator Warehouse stuff, why don't we jump into our next topic, which is apparently, um, that Tynan is gonna be joining us? Do you have, like, a yeah. microphone? Or, like, how does this even work? He's just been, he's been, he's been skulking. I love that word. And I love using it. He's been skulking over there. And he's got a box. He does. He's been oh. box skulking, which sounds way dirtier that than it is. It really does, especially yeah. with the previous topic. He's a box skulker. So what is this? Uh, I don't know, but it's apparently an emergency. Oh. Got, the, got, that EMS, got that EMS tape right on there. Yeah. That's a courier, right? I don't know. I'm assuming, it sounds... Don't okay. shake it too much. Okay. Oh, okay. Whatever's in there is marching. He just, he, just, he just said, don't shake it. Well, yeah, he didn't define too much. This doesn't seem like too much yeah, to my me. my goodness. Okay, hold Usually on. Usually I would interpret that as, like, don't shake it any more than absolutely required. Coward. Oh. Okay. Fine line. Would you like to Would you like to do the care and handling sure. instructions? Yeah. Okay. It's not like you're going to pay attention to them, so. Yeah. Well, one of these things I think I figured out what it's for. You should just ceremoniously drop- Oh, You should just ceremoniously drop it. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh, I don't know where I'm supposed to- Oh okay, my gosh, that looks really way. long. I, yeah, I don't you think definitely you can don't read have that. to read you know, all of there that. was like- there, it's, it's in like a, a thing, which opens backwards, and then they didn't use the inside of it. To type. Okay, so basically it looks advanced. like my daughter's made it. This is advanced difficulty. <laughs> um, brass. Brass will naturally develop a patina over time, giving it a dull finish. The okay. very tip of the brass screwdriver is brass-plated steel. Whoa, 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 the very tip of what now? Uh, the the brass-plated screwdriver. Now might be a good time to look at the pieces on the inside of the boxes. Okay. Do you have to put I the, feel whoa. like... Whoa, whoa, hello, buddy. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Okay. What's okay, happening? We're going to do the... Oh, wow. That's oh, wow. an interesting framing for the Linus cam. No, no, it's perfect. It might actually it's, be very convenient Yeah, it's this. perfect, Dan. Oh, uh, well, it was perfect, and then I ruined it. No, no, you're good. You're good. You're Linus, good. it's behind the banner. Lift it up. I'm trying. Is this your first scale? time I doing this? I lifted it up. And what then are you the, doing? And then this thing came down. You have two hands. Use them. Oh, my God. Jeez. All right, I'm using one of them. <laughs> Yeah, you like that? <laughs> I show up and all chaos unfolds. Uh, Glorious. Oh, it's always like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I think there's, the, I think the chaos is exponentially proportional to the number of people here. Yeah. That sounds about right. What can I say? I just like when people watch. I get excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, okay. I think what I'm looking at are some prototypes. These look very okay. kind of not handcrafted. Obviously, these are these are machined, but it looks like various one-off sort of components. Very yeah, like attempts almost at something. Like this one has uh, two of the flat sides kind Ooh. of applied to it. This looks like oh, I think I I think I see wow. what's happening here. This looks like a selector ring. Uh, 
Wait. Hold on a second. Well, this is obviously one of our ratchet mechanisms and yeah. shafts. I would recognize it anywhere. And there's a whole bunch You'd of other little... Your own shaft. Like, this was, this was laved, and this is really good. It's uh, flared out at the tip, so that's safe. <laughs> the ratchet that was ours may have came from us putting it in the oh, box Oh, accidentally. we put it in there. Oh, okay. So that, that particular one, at least. Okay, okay. So I think, I think we're about to see something here. For display purposes, the metal can be polished back to a shiny finish. The recommended polishing compound is something, something. Caution, please ex avoid excessive yeah. polish. Oh, whatever. Yeah. None of that well, super I'm afraid I can't commit to that. The ratchet mechanism okay. is based on a readily available screwdriver. Performance is not on par with the LTT version. Well, There's a dead is. spot in the mechanism for manufacturing mistake. There's no cause for concern uh, if the certain mechanism feels tight and uneven because it's not ours. Okay. So there are two drivers in There's there. two drivers. <gasps> you you might want to take it out entirely. Oh, whoa. Yeah, there you go. whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Just in time for the Christmas season. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So handle with Silver utmost and care. Gold. Silver and gold. I don't think I should even touch them because of how oily my hands no, are. No, no, you're good. That's ah, fine. Uh, Dan, um, that's... Uh, okay, good, I guess. Good job. Wow. Okay. So now, hold Those on a second. Those look insane. What am I looking at? Okay. The... Okay. Man. So Those the two drivers insane. are quite different. Oh. Okay. No, no, I can tell. Wait. Recognize well, this, that? Yeah, this one's our ratchet. Mostly, yeah. Oh, okay, listen to this. Extras. In the package is a grab bag full of a selection of scrap slash prototype parts. Probably about 500 bucks worth of shiny but equally useless parts. Wow. Small okay. insight into the months of manufacturing. Feel free to keep the grab bag. <laughs> so we are sending back the drivers. This yeah. one is actually functional. Whoa. That is so cool. Okay, here. Do you want to? Do you want to check this out? I gotta. I gotta show them the next one. So this one. Whoa. whoa. This one weighs. Um. Oh yeah. No, it had. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it also goes the wrong way. Yeah. The, this one is not as functional as the other one. But this is polished brass. Gets that gold looking. Yeah. It does. That looks flipping incredible. And the tip is plated, and you can kind of see how it looks different than the rest of the piece. It's crazy. Wow. And this one was the one that was based off of a different mechanism. You know what? They did a pretty good job of, I mean, at least as, as close as I think you can get um, with not using a plastic molded part, like having to do with flat surfaces, but pretty close to the hand feel of our draw. Oh. Oh, Tynan has something else for I us. Do. Okay, does the person who made these know that they didn't need to do that? I mean, that's never the point when you're making something like that. That's fair, but... <laughs> that is pretty true. Here it is. This is what we have coming. Have you seen this yet, Luke? Yes, actually. Oh, I've, right, I've well. snuck a peek. That's way less fun. Um, Tynan, how close is this one to what we are planning to launch? Surface finishes may be a bit different, but other okay. than that, it should be pretty close okay. to being ready. So I was, I was, uh, I was playing it up a little bit. I know that polished brass looks a lot like gold because we are going with polished bla blast, uh, polished brass because I thought it looked so amazing for the accents on our aluminum driver. Now, obviously, it's not going to look as blingtastic as this, so he definitely did still have to make his own if he wanted something that looked like that. But for the rest of you, uh, the functionality of this is up to LTT standard. So it's really got that nice, satisfying pop mechanism. Uh, the team worked extraordinarily hard. At least that's what they tell me. I don't know. I can never tell. No, just kidding. They worked hard. Um, Retuning the selector ring. And I believe you guys had to make some changes to the ratchet under it. Is that correct? 
I don't I don't remember. No, okay. So they but they had to play around a lot with the selector ring because the way that the the the, the sort of one time um, fit works on the plastic one did not work very well for metal. And so the earlier ones, it was I think one millimeter wider and it was it was very noticeable. It, it, I was like, oh, this, this feels wrong. Um, uh, please fix it. Please fix. And they're like, oh, okay. We knew you were going to say that, but okay. Uh, <laughs> our, our meetings often go quite like that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so the person who made the other drivers yeah. got around the same problem in a different way. Oh, if that's so cool. If you look so at the cool. stainless steel driver. Oh, yeah. Okay, here. I'm going to your cam, Luke. If you spin it, like if you select it, you can see that the top piece doesn't oh, move. Oh yeah, no, I felt that. I felt that oh. already. I what they did was they threaded it onto this the zinc piece housing. Right here. Oh. So they threaded it onto the zinc housing and then Loctited it, and That's then have the actual selector be a, sec a separate piece. That's actually a really good idea. So show them where the see, seam is. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to see in the camera, but right on the edge of my fingernail, that's where the seam is. That is so cool. So they definitely did some development themselves to make these work. I, I I love it's it. It's remarkable. These are these are really cool. It is. I always think nothing could surprise me anymore about just the passion of our community, the tech community in general. And then I'll say I'll find I'll see Doom running on like a fridge, you know, or 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 whatever. Right? It, it's it didn't serve any purpose. It served no purpose other than well, that's cool shit, and I'm gonna do it. I just, man, I love that. I don't think we're going to release anything this heavy. Uh, yeah, time, time is going to, no. He likes his heavy one, his like stupid 3D printed steel one or whatever. But it's like, fun. It's a lot heavier though. It's hard to use heavy. It's, <laughs> it's unpleasant. I actually find it like unbalances my body heavy. Like it's not, it's not good. Uh, but the aluminum one with the brass accents, we found that that was a good compromise. You know, looking at it under this light tine and I'm not a hundred percent sold. Is this pretty close to the finish that I had said I, I preferred? I, I think can't the remember. Aluminum finish is going to change still. The aluminum finish still going to, okay. I yeah. Believe. But we're pretty settled on the shiny brass, I think, right? Yeah. It's going to get like this really nice patina over time. Oh, and it's going to be so much better of a fidget toy too. Just because, ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's been for a long time. Is the, is the right word inertia or momentum in this case? Both. Both? Because they're basically the same thing functionally, right? More or less. Okay, then I'm not going to stress about it. And oh. I want to hear the, uh, the closing sound it Wait, makes nice and close no, to the No, they mic. have more inertia, which gives them more momentum. Pretty right? much, yeah. Okay, so I do understand it. Excellent. Good job, Linus. They're, they're, they're close enough. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, what were you going to say, uh, Dan? Oh, I want to I want to hear it close next to the mic a little bit better because it's just a beautiful sound. Oh, oh. yeah, <laughs> love it. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, that is so cool. Um, thanks for sending these over to us just to check out, and we will get them back to you in. Oh, I just oh, I love that it says that. Ah, oh, they look they look so good together. Okay, so Tynan. I guess what that means is that for all the product photography for this, we have to do an inverse version just so that we can like have that look. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'll just... <laughs> I mean, it's doable. It would be so heavy. It's so much. It's so much fun seeing the look on his face in person compared to just seeing him talk in chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Had to be here every now and then. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for showing us this. Oh, oh, this isn't the only thing. No, he's got there's another one. What about second box? It's the mining backpack. So we, we actually <gasps> had this as a topic and I guess it's oh. here. That's what I think is happening at least. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. So mining backpack is the there. entirety of creator warehouse was looking forward to getting this thing back to look at it. Yeah. So, well, I mean, should we give people the, uh, should we give people kind of the background for this? Um, Oh, it first showed up in a post on Reddit where um, someone was talking about how... Frasher 11. Uh, Frasher 11? Yeah. Yeah, 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 there we go. I uh, was talking about how resilient the LTT backpack has been. <laughs> and he demonstrated this by posting his absolutely abused, like, wrecked looking bag that he had been Through using for... Back. One year. <laughs> and yeah. naturally, a lot of people's response to that was, 
I'm sorry. You're delighted that this bag is at one year and still functioning? <laughs> and it looks like that? And he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. I work as a miner, but no, a real one. Like, underground. Um, and it has been through some shit. <laughs> oh. And he said that his previous bags were destroyed in half the time. So he wasn't actually complaining about it. And in fact, from my He's understanding, he intended to continue to use it. Yeah. But we saw an opportunity. And I think it was actually Chewy um, from, the, from the social and community team who was like, hey, how about this? Can we get that from you? Why don't we get, why don't we get Frasher a new bag that he can destroy in a year or a year and a half or however long it takes him because he's apparently uh, a unit um <laughs> and why don't we get that one back so we can get what is essentially um uh, 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 it's only one unit so it's not you know perfectly scientific or anything but but uh but a long-term sort of projection of you know where the wear points might be on our backpack if someone were to use it for 10 years or 15 years um except frasher did it for us in one so this is my first time seeing it in person yeah um luke do you do you want to van it do you sure. want to do you want to sure. open it no no you can stay there it's just big i uh, here hold on we're gonna i'm gonna switch I to the loot cam really like how it looks so far <laughs> okay hold on show, show them show them the top of the box show them the top of the box wow uh, do do it does anyone have i i have the lux bag right now does anyone have a a regular ltt backpack just for just for color comparison because it's like it's like almost it's patinaed it's brown <laughs> yeah that's a brown backpack oh perfect that's tynan's is this is this yours tynan yeah. oh and oh. really you took the only new carabiners that we have oh we have an update for you guys on that right you're yeah, no, 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 there's a... Sorry. Your name tag. What happened to it? Oh, no. Oh. Okay. I'm also a product tester, even though I also <laughs> yeah. developed them. Um, laser engraved. Yeah, the, yeah. Um, the, there's an update on them. I, I believe the first 50,000 units are going into production very, very shortly. We've resolved the issue I talked about on the show pri uh, previously, where... Basically, there was a disagreement over when we owed them more money, and I, I think we're moving forward, and I think things are going to be good, and I'm really excited to get those all shipped out to people. Okay, sorry, Luke. I had you holding that basically forever while I just dragged my butt. Okay. Yeah, you can, um, you can see a difference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, cool. Here it comes. Handles in like 100% condition and he was hanging it off of his like whatever that vehicle was that he was using yeah. by the handle Hey, the we accounted rigged. for that. We have not one oh. not two not three not four not five but six Six rivets through the top handle because I knew sick. people would do it Every backpack I've ever owned has failed here or here or here and this like it's fine It's actually completely fine that is kind of... I almost want to do this as like a colorway. So this, this... Yeah, it's kind of cool. Okay, his carabiner this, pole died. Yeah, this zipper pole's gone. Both of the two at the top have Just their... Give to the guy. The like arms broken off. Yeah, no, we did. No, like, do okay, it's fine. I mean, do you want to... Here, here, here. I'm going to switch to the Luke, Luke cam. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, they can't see you. Oh, wow. The, the inside... The zipper is struggling a wee bit. The inside is dirty. I mean, it's a YKK zipper. What do you want <laughs> from me? Oh, wow. <laughs> the inside has been there. used heavily... <laughs> There are some samples on the inside of like what they mine, just as a heads up. So oh, it is very dirty. Remember how I said it's been through some shit? Some shit's apparently been through it too. Uh, oh, oh, what do you got? What do you got? This one, I want to see. Whatever was in this one fell out. Oh, uh, maybe it was heavy. I mean, hey, look, it's Ethereum. Just kidding, cold? just kidding. It's real mining. It's real mining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, my understanding. I don't actually yeah. really want to take it out of the bag, yeah, but you yeah, can see. I'm take it out. All right. I mean, it is yeah. very dirty. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it, that's the whole point of this segment is we're Was gonna... he actually carrying coal in the backpack? I mean, it looks it like looks it. Like it looks like it. Presumably. <laughs> if not, things covered in it. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. 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 Um, am, am, I allowed to, am I allowed to say where they came from? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, right? I don't uh, know. Um... Shoemaker Mines, West Virginia, uh, 265 to 330 million year old coal. 
Dude, even even the like laptop sleeve area. Oh, I know what my kids are getting for Christmas. (laughs) That would actually be hilarious. (laughs) Forbidden brownie. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my goodness. Oh, this is if you eat one, it feeds you for the rest of your life. This is so cool. (laughs) There's a lot of calories in there. So are these? So we've got samples from various mines. Nope, this is from the same mine. It's just other more different sample. Probably so that, oh, I guess this is so multiple people on the team can have them as a keepsake. I mean, that's that kind of, that. that's where my logic brain goes. Yeah, not, okay, check, that. check this. That dirty Even, so there's the main compartment. <laughs> proceeds to wipe his hands. There's the uh, main uh, compartment that we saw. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Even the, like, laptop compartment. <laughs> That is scuffed, <laughs> but still in really good shape. Yeah, like it were like everything's still functional. Everything's still together. Okay, I found one hole in the outside of it. You found a hole. Oh, oh I think it's time to go hole hunting. What about the uh, the side pockets? Like, are they full of stuff too? A hole, you say? So the zippers are a little rough. So not a partial? Like cold gunk in there, you didn't find a partial? It was, you found it a, was a partial. Oh, yeah. a partial hole. Because of a design choice that we made earlier on. Uh-oh. Ooh. Uh-oh. I feel like... Uh, no, this, it's a good I feel thing. like things are about to get spicy. It's a, it's, a good, it's a good design choice, not a bad one. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, now I'm stressed. Where? Give me a hint. Okay. The bottom? The bottom? This one? Yeah, is that actually? Wait, you called that a hole? Well, it's through the. It's Does through it one layer. Through? It's through one layer. Oh. oh okay. So I think, he, I think he put the bag down on something hot or sharp or, or both. Sharp. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay here, uh, lift up a little higher. You're below the. Yeah, there right we go. There here. We go. Right uh, there. Okay. There. Remember when I pointed to all the places that my backpacks have ever failed? I forgot to mention one. One of the final places that my backpacks have failed is along the bottom because I'm the kind of person who gets home at the end of the day, takes off my backpack, grabs it by the handle, swings it along the floor, and chucks it to where it goes. So my backpacks tend to get worn really hard at the bottom. Um, A lot of people have noted that our backpack is kind of on the big side, a little on the heavy side when it's empty. Um, yes. And part of that was very intentional. And one of the reasons for it is that the bottom panel, these entire two pieces right here are actually double layered. So in the event here, can I have a, can I have a knife? Anyone got a knife on them? Do you want to damage it more than it is? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. I don't think that should affect our analysis. Are we still doing the research? That should be fine. I think I can cut it. Are you uh, contaminating a crime scene? I, no, 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 no. There's no crime. There's no Is crime. Is he ever not? There's no crime. Sorry? Is he ever not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, let's go for it. Let's do it. What, what, what's the line? F*** it. We'll do it live. Line has um, stabbed me. New title. Okay. So let's... Uh, don't... Yeah, go somewhere like far from that one. Oh, don't go right on the seam. What? What do you... I'm not on the seam. I'm, oh, okay, I'm okay, close okay, okay. to it. Okay, this, it's not actually that easy to cut. There we go. So theoretically, if our manufacturer is following our instructions. Oh, wait, is it not that one? Uh-oh. Is it this one? Maybe it's just the one under the laptop compartment. Oh, God. Oh, this would be <laughs> awkward. Cyber, tr- so cyber truck what's, bulletproof what's window, anyone? What's the committee thought process on what's happening oh, right fine. now? It's not going to cut Linus. <laughs> where's my, uh, hmm. where's my second layer here? Well then, wait. Well, why didn't the why didn't the hole cause a problem? Okay, we need to investigate this for sure. Sounds good. Is it? But yeah. Is it? Is it under the, the foam? Under the foam. I well, think that. Sh- so. Oh, can can I see? I I, I think you'd have to. Well, let's keep going. I think you'd have to like really go and then take the foam out because the foam is like stuck on something. Tynan's having a good day. That's fine. Hmm. Everything is fine. I'm not sure if I agree. I think there's definitely some stuff for us to figure out here. Yep. Thanks, Tyne, and good chat. The backpack is in remarkably good shape. That much is true, but that doesn't mean that yes. I am not a little put out right now. I'm always a little put out, but... Was it that other layer? Mm-mm. Uh-huh. So we need to get that information to the team. Yep. <laughs> I am covered in cold dust. As soon as humanly possible. For Thank sure. you very much, Tynan. Yeah. And, uh... Hmm.
things to explore. Have I ever told you guys that there's never a dull moment around here? Yeah. There is always something. Anyway, at least it was hard to stick the knife through it. <laughs> oh. Hold on one sec. Stab through both legs. Yeah. What I'm actually wondering is if it's double thick and if there might have been a bit of a miscommunication there. Where'd that knife go? Sorry, I'm in, hold? I'm in actual just like me to hold? working on stuff mode right now. No, no, I'm good. Thank you. Um, sorry, I'm just going to put more holes in this time. And I hope that's okay. I don't think it matters if it's not. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded a lot easier. It's going to be really hard to tell. Um, okay. We will look into it. You'll need a, yeah. Yes, please. I don't need to tell him what he needs. I don't know why I even started that. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I just... I see... I see problems. I need to learn about them, and I need to fix them, and it's as much a compulsion as it is actually a practical thing for the business. Uh, one of the problems I have right now is I haven't explained about merch messages. So... Guys, if you want to interact with the show, the way to do it is through a merch message. You can pick up one of our delightful backpacks, one of our delightful... Sorry, not this one. Um, Thanks, honey. You don't, have to, you don't have to duck that much. It's, it, you won't see it. One of our delightful screwdrivers. Hold on, here's the one we're actually promoting right now. Ah, it was in my pocket. There you go. Got our new retro colorway, yeah. which is super awesome. It looks so cool. Uh, or whatever else strikes your fancy. And in the cart, you will see a little box titled merch messages whenever we're live so instead of just throwing your money at the screen via super chat or twitch bits or whatever else you get to throw your money at the screen and get your order in the mail and as a bonus it will go to producer dan who will either forward it to the relevant party internally reply to it himself chuck it up at the bottom of the screen so you can do a little shout out or you know send a little message or he will curate it for Tynan's starting investigating already. Or he will curate it for me and Luke to address on the show. So to show you guys how it works, Dan is going to pitch us a couple of merch messages to talk about right now. Yeah, sure. I've got a couple here. Uh, first one up. I started a new job as a Dell and Lenovo warranty technician. Nice. I love my new job so far, but I'm afraid that I will upset a customer eventually. Do you have any advice for me? I mean... I don't think there's I don't think there's any way to avoid that. You're gonna upset a customer eventually. The customer is not will be always right. Predetermined as well. Sometimes the customer is a fucking idiot. And sometimes they're just mad already before you even pick yeah. up the phone. Yeah. Sometimes it's nothing personal. I mean, that honestly is probably the best piece of advice I think my aunt ever gave me. Is that everyone has baggage? Is the way that she kind of put it, and. You know what? Some people have more baggage than other people and carrying it is really tiring for them. And that's not your fault. You know, you need to be empathetic. You need to try your best to understand their position. But beyond that, people will it's not absolutely your job to carry it. dump on you, though. It, but it's not your job to carry their baggage. Yeah. And um, and I think that that's probably the, the best way for you to kind of think about that is, hey, look, this is... Um, I can't take this personally right now. Uh, I got to recognize that in good faith, I did my best here and maybe I did screw up, but if we are both trying to get along, you know, the most important thing is trying to reach a resolution um, and getting angry is not going to, not going to change anything about it. Um, maybe that person doesn't understand that, or maybe they're not in a state of mind right now where they're, they're able to think about it that way. Um, but whatever the case is, I just got to recognize that this is not my baggage. This is not my burden to carry. And I got to just keep being me and keep being my best self. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's what I would recommend. Because it will happen. It'll happen. Hi, LTT crew from Oklahoma. What's up? I was wondering when the Noctua Edition screwdriver would be released, and will there possibly be a stubby version? Um... We've been asked about additional colorways for Stubby. I think that in the very long term, we'd love to 
just find a way to handle lots of different colors or whatever. You could buy a preloaded, you know, hex one, and it would be, you know, whatever the, like, hex sort of industry standard color is. Are, are, are there colors that correspond? Hey, Tyna, I can't remember on the screwdrivers. Is it that the colors correspond to the size or the bit type? He's gone. He's gone. Well, great. Perfect. Um, cool. <laughs> Anyway, you know, I, I, w- I would love to have all kinds of, you know, different options or do like fun little drops. You know, here's, here's 69 uh, Lambo edition ones or you know, whatever, right? Um, but right now, we have to focus our manufacturing capacity, which if you're regular viewers will know is uh, a lot of it here. At, no, not him. You're not the manufacturing no, capacity. No, I have, a, I have an answer. Oh, all right. Uh, red Phillips screwdriver. Okay, so it's by bit type. Blue Phillips screwdriver often used for electrical work. Green Torx screwdriver used for electronics and appliances. Are you really going to go through this whole thing? I was going to, yeah. Sure. I'm. I'm. You know what? I'm actually here for it. Yellow flathead screwdriver. Black magnetic screwdriver. Orange insulated screwdriver used for electrical work to prevent electrical shock. And silver precision screwdriver used for small electronics and devices. All right. Well, we probably won't be following this key, but we'll, we'll do something. Yeah. Um, the point is, right now we need to focus our <laughs> manufacturing capacity on the, the few SKUs that, we are, that we're, we're, we're bringing out. Um, but in the longer term, yeah, we'd love to do all kinds of things. What I said last time people asked about different colorways on the stubby is... Yeah, we'd love to, but we need to see the stubby be a big success in the standard colors, and then we'll consider bringing in additional colors, because your additional colors are always going to be some proportion of what you would sell in black. Um, I I have yet to see any evidence, whether it's t-shirts or sweatshirts or screwdrivers or anything. I've yet to see any evidence to support that some other color will sell more than black. I want to throw something into the ring. The swim trunks. Yes. Black still out sold? Uh, you know what? I would have to go back and look at... Uh, I'd have to go back and look at the launch. And I don't remember when we launched it because yeah. I, we've sold through all of them. So if I just look at right. a huge time period, it's just yeah. going to say however many we ordered yeah. was sold. Um, but I feel like that would be the best bet. Yeah, if anyone remembers when we launched the swim trunks, I, I can't look it up right now. Um, post it in the chat, and then I'll, I'll go find it. I'll, I'll let you guys know. All right, Dan, hit us. Sure thing. Um, love you guys. Have you heard of sending uh, HDMI signals through a box of, I guess, Ethernet to get high-quality audio video over long distances? No fiber optic wires needed. HD base T. Uh, yes, it's super cool. We actually did a video showing that. Um, the The title was uh, <clears throat> quite clickable, so it might not be the most obvious thing for you guys to find. But I think I remember what I was. What I think I remember what it was called. Uh, weirdest graphics card or something like that. Digital Minus. signals are great. But 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 but. Yeah, do stuff with there it, it is, man. Man, I'm good. Here it is. This GPU, super cool. It has Ethernet jacks on the back because that function is functionality is built right into it. That's cool. Yeah, super neat, right? I think we still have the six by a hundred meter spool of cable that we use to do the demo because it's too valuable to throw away, but it's too impractical to use because it's like this crazy stiff thick armored cable or something i don't know it's bizarre oh 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 when when uh knock to a screwdriver i think maybe sometime in the nice all right is that the three no hold on he's he's looking i'm actually looking but yeah you can do another one are you on four sure um, this is just, rules. it's more merch stuff. Let's see. Uh, uh, okay. Well, I got one here for Luke. Sure. Uh, dear LLD. First off, hi, Dan. Hope you're having a great day. Second off, Linus, go f- yourself. Third, now that I've Did got you your attention. That? Of course I bleeped it. Oh, I <laughs> Luke, uh, what's the thing, the biggest allowed to discuss bug on Floatplane? Uh... I hope I believed it. <laughs> I, I test my button. That's fine. 
if I see no evil, I can also neither hear nor <laughs> speak it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I I don't feel like it's really been that bad. Um, we've had a lot of issues with our transcoding system for a really long time, but we're kind of out of those waters now. Um, not only did we more or less fix the transcoding system that we have, but the new one, uh, which is going to be awesome, but the new one, that was a, that was a big issue earlier this year, but yeah, I think we're mostly out of that now. I think that was, that's probably the biggest problem we've had. That was like long running. I don't know. Oh, speaking of float plane, we apparently have two float plane exclusive videos where oh Tynan my. talks about the metal screwdriver <laughs> in more oh. detail and one where the creator warehouse team looks over the mining backpack. That one's coming out next Tuesday. So oh, the screwdriver cool. one's already there and then the creator that's warehouse cool. team looked at the backpack. Uh, I'm glad they did that before I put a hole in it. <laughs> yeah. Mind you, it might merit a follow-up video if, uh, if depending on what we find, we'll, ha well, we'll have to see. Tynan ran off with it like right away. So yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Tynan, Tynan's he's he's good. Shit. He yes. he takes stuff serious. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, uh, to be clear, when I when I single out Tynan, that doesn't necessarily mean that I am saying that the rest of the team is not good. Shit. You know, it's, it's what I, no. I like hamburgers. You hate hot dogs. <laughs> no, no, no. I I love them all. Uh, <laughs> I'll eat one hot dog and one hamburger. I'll do it right now. I'll eat them both at the same time. I, 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 I. Um, I, 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 I just mean that doesn't surprise me at all that he immediately went where he has more access to tools and whatever else. All right. Why don't we... What, what do you want to do now? What, what, are, we, what are we supposed to be doing? Wait, we were asking about dude? the Noctuous screwdriver timeline. Oh, right. Yes, I did look that up. Uh, here's the last update that I have from Nick. Uh, 24,000 people have signed up for uh, a notification when it's in stock. Um, historically, the conversion is obviously not 100%, but that's good. Um, boxes are expected to be complete in early December. Then it's just pending shipping of boxes. And screwdrivers, maybe? I no, I'm not sure. Maybe the screwdrivers are done. <laughs> boxes, for sure, that we need to get that done. Yeah. So you will not be getting an octo screwdriver for Christmas, which is unfortunate. <clears throat> what are you doing? Because oh. they look so cool. Oh. Ah! Uh, these are my these are my hex, my metric, my imperial hex. Oh, wait, you have a. <laughs> this is my standard bit set. I never thought about doing that. Oh my gosh. Torx. I still, I still really like the custom screwdriver that you and I made that one night. I love it. We made one I that looks like a toy. Oh yeah, 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 it's yeah. It's actually awesome. Yeah, it's every super time cute. I use it at home, I'm like, this is sweet. <laughs> this is dope. <laughs> There's no, you can never get like really high quality products in that type of a color scheme. Like it actually looks like a kid's toy, but then it's a yeah, it's it's great. I love it. We would love in the longer term to have a, a BYOS, you know, build your own screwdriver, uh, configure it thing. I think that it's something we may be able to achieve at some point. I haven't talked about this much, but we have fixed shaft screwdrivers coming. Ah. Uh, there's been a ton of work. Uh, Robert from the Creator Warehouse team has been heading that up. And it's more challenging than you would think because we are not just taking some screwdriver set from some factory and silk screening our logo on it. That's not good enough for us. Uh, we are creating <laughs> something really special. Uh, we are, um, we're, be, we're going to be using a very similar ergonomic shape compared, like, uh, compared to our ratcheting driver, but obviously the shafts are going to be thinner so that you can get into places that a multi-bit screwdriver simply can't. Got me a fit. They won't ratchet. They're going to have uh, an overgrip because we don't have to fit all the bits inside. So there's enough room to do um, a multi-mold process. Uh, so we'll have like a harder, hard inner mold and then a softer outer mold. But not soft, soft. We want something that's like, you know, got a little bit of grip to it, feels nice in the hand, but is, is not going to wear out. Uh, we're going to have um, these little kind of... Uh, Butt plugs, well, they go on the butt of the screwdriver and they're a plug. So they're end plugs. End plugs. Let's call them end plugs. They plug into the end. <laughs> uh, so we'll have these end plugs that are going to be modular. 
And the reason for that is not because you will even not because you will want to or even be able to take them out. But because the idea is that we are going to have the final assembly of the screwdrivers be somewhat modular. Oh, I, th I believe we are leaning towards uh, forged, um, forged shafts. Uh, there's, I'm trying to think if there's like anything else to really say about it. But the cool thing about the way that we're developing this product is that we're going to only warehouse shafts, handles, and end plugs. So the idea is that if you wanted a longer shaft, or if you wanted um, a number one Phillips with a bigger handle or a smaller handle, we're going to have five different handle sizes. Um, or if you wanted... Um, so you could customize a fixed screwdriver as well. Exactly. So you could kind of create your own ultimate fixed shaft screwdriver set for your needs and have it match all your other screwdrivers, assuming that you just get them all from LTT store and there would be no reason not to because they're going to be flipping awesome. Um, the, the smallest handle size is kind of down to almost precision territory because remember, we do have a precision driver coming for that really fine work. And then the biggest one is actually bigger than this one. <laughs> it's like, like, you know, like a, like a number three flathead, yeah. you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like the handle on one of those <laughs> and, and it'll, you know, the manufacturer says, don't use it as a pry bar, but like it can do it. What else are any, what else is anybody doing with these screwdrivers? <laughs> um, oh, are we still alive? What? Twitch chat saying F. Oh, oh full, the full is back. all right, cool. Yeah. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> really excited about those. I forget what the point of what I was talking about was, but it's going to be great. <laughs> uh, what, are, what, what are we supposed to be? Oh, yeah, topics. Are they hot ones? Oh! Oh, man. We're, okay, this is really turning into the merch show, but Dan? Not you. Producer of the H3 podcast... Ironically, yeah. I was like, "What?" Uh, every every podcast has a Dan. Uh, a, uh, they're all named Dan. Oh, recently called the LTT screwdriver. Hey, do do they have my audio? They should. They they can. Is that a, is that a oh, thing? Oh, on your laptop. Sorry. Is that a thing that can be had? Uh, yeah, play. I'm not hearing anything from you. Okay, there, got it now. Ready? You got it now. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Do you want to be able to hear it? All right. Yes. Yep. Good. Let me see if I can get through it to you. You're going to hear some slapback, though. Okay, play. Are you playing it? I'm not, I'm not getting audio from you, then. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I was. Balls. The last time. Ooh, wow, I definitely hear what you're calling slapback. Yep. That is... Uh, it's muted in the player. Pretty rough. Is it? I think so. Oh, well, there's your problem right there. All right, cool. Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, shout out to I the wrong one. Tips. Or maybe Dang not. it! No, yeah. Stop. I wonder. I wonder if uh, their Dan versus our Dan, you know, their Dan would be able to get audio to the host. No, no, no. You're no, not no. sending me audio. You're, you're doing a great job, Dan. Play the video. Oh, by the way, shout there. out. Now, now we're hearing it. Tech tips. You're not. But not. Are they, they get canceled? I mean, I they they happen. <laughs> they can hear it. Happened to Linus. You, you Some people it. are mad at them. Yeah. People are mad at them. He still has pretty quiet. Though. <laughs> Listen. Just, just chill. <laughs> How many times? Okay. Um, is there, is there, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. You're gonna hate it. Are you ready for this? I. Oh my. Nope, I've got it now. No. You sure? You, you can play it now. <laughs> Jeez. I was just gonna hold my phone up to the mic. You just, you just gotta threaten him with that. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how quickly he'll figure it out when you when you when you offer up a janky solution. I'm gonna plug in a GoXLR, Dan. Okay, ready? Mm hmm. Oh, by the way, shout out to some quiet, your side. tips. Or maybe not. Are they... Are they get canceled? I mean, something? they had what a... Happened? I, I'm not or, in that world. What happened to Linus? You, you some people it. are mad at them, yeah. People are mad at them? He okay, still has no, credentials, though. Don't I mean. shout out. Listen. It's the only influencer product I've ever bought in my life. Oh, really? Is Linus's screwdriver, and this genuinely is such an awesome screwdriver. What's so good about it? Just really well made. It's a ratchet screwdriver, so... This man is selling screwdrivers. He's selling screwdrivers. That's and then in the bottom, 
got oh that's bits in there i've never seen that pretty slick so, nice so yes this is an official linus tech tips uh collaboration here thank you linus sweet heck yeah is he building a computer i don't know doesn't matter. It so like cool. It. You don't have to build a computer with the LTC screwdriver. You can do anything. Uh, it's actually, when you try to do something else, there's like a burr, burr that comes up. It's incompatible. <laughs> you should try it out. Buy one. Test it. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the idea of buying four or five to store all their different bit types in. I am definitely doing that. That is a genius that's, idea. I never thought about doing that. That's quite the flex. I, when did you think of doing that? Oh, immediately. <laughs> I just had to wait for us to make more colors of it. <laughs> Why didn't... I, yeah. You should advertise that on the store. Oh, my goodness. Well, like, like I said, I want to... Yeah, of course I want to do that. You know, just have like... Do a four so pack. Can, yeah, you can buy a set and they're all different colors. So you can immediately go straight to the right set of bits, right? Because 16 bits, or excuse me, 12 bits, that's, that's not enough for me. You know? As an owner of four a, or five, I will be doing this immediately. Says <laughs> Hannibal from Full Play Chat. Yeah, I mean, even if you have all, all the same color ones, you could just put like a thing of tape around them or whatever else, and then they're color coded. Boom, you're good. Uh, apparently, uh, people in float plane chat say I'm wrong because they, they use it for things other than building computers. But I, I still think you should. Well, test they it. could be lying. They're biased. Yeah, they're float plane yeah, chat. They're the yeah. most hardcore. Yeah, you guys should. You should still test it. Okay. All yeah. right. Let's um, let's talk about fake women who got a conference canceled. Yeah. 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 Way to go, fake women. Online developer <laughs> conference Devternity, is that correct? Ternity? Sure. Uh, has been canceled after several tech executives withdrew as speakers, citing the revelation that its organizer, uh, Edwards Sizovs, has apparently been making up fake female professionals to list as speakers at his conferences, including fake biographies, credentials, photos, and social media accounts. The motivation seems to have been to trick male speakers who would otherwise refuse to attend on the grounds that the speaker list was not inclusive. The conference was scheduled to have over a thousand attendees with admittance costing uh, from $435 to $870. Some of these dev conferences are really wow. expensive. Yeah. That's wild. At least one of the fake women, Julia Cursina, appears to be a direct uh, sock puppet. And her social media accounts frequently post the same content as the organizer's own accounts verbatim, albeit with the addition of flirtatious photos and emojis. Very cool. Uh, her posts go back to 2019. The organizer wow. claims that the second fake female speaker, Anna Boyko, was a demo persona from their test website that was mistakenly included in the speaker list. Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, he further stated, this year, despite our attempts, we've achieved a worse than expected level of diversity of speakers. There have been thousands of events chasing the same small subgroup of female speakers. Okay, now hold on a second. Can we pause for a minute here? Find a different one? Find a different... Uh, what, sorry? Like, woman to speak at your event. Oh, uh, yeah. I think his point is that there isn't enough. Okay, so then making up fake ones is the solution? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, one reason why this may have gone unnoticed at previous events is because of the relatively low number of women, both fake and real, attending these conferences. Only four women were supposed to speak at DevTernity, and only two <laughs> appear to be fake. Um, further... Well, only two appear to be real, I guess, is what how that meant, was meant to be read. Yeah, I mean, it's true either way. Uh, so, well, hold, of, hold on, sorry, I, I, I'm gonna let you finish, but um, was he not expecting people to notice? I'm assuming you just call, like, a last-minute call-out situation. Like, is this... Is, is that the real takeaway here? That he's been pulling this con for years, pun intended, and no one has gone, Yeah. wow, I, no one has gone, wow, I saw her on the speaker list, I want to see her talk, wait a minute, where is she, and figured this out before. So is that the actual problem? <laughs> well, well, no, so okay. as I expected, reading, reading forward... Uh, okay. 
One of the real women dropped out due to medical issues. Okay, so they actually only had one real one. Okay. And in previous years, it appears that the small number of fake professionals would cancel at the last minute, which would appear to the observers as a coincidence rather than deliberate fraud. So, yeah, I they see. would just have them cancel, and then they'd be like, oh, sorry, guys, not all the panel presenters are able to make it. And then you just have But most beards. of them do, and you paid $1,000 to come here anyways. So, hope you enjoy the... Snacks. I don't know. Wow. Okay. Our discussion question. Um, while organizers clearly shouldn't be making up fake speakers yeah. for the sake of appearances, is there a genuine supply issue when it comes to prominent female speakers in tech? Okay. So this, there's two answers to this, right? When it comes to prominent female speakers in tech, I mean, yeah, like you could obviously find them. You know, Dr. Lisa Sue or something, but does she want to talk at your event or yeah, is she busy, she is she busy kicking the ass of a company that's eternity? 10 times their size? Yeah, not even development anyway. So are there prominent, you know, women in tech? Sure. Yes. Are they busy? Maybe. Do all of them want to come talk at your freaking yeah, event? <laughs> should someone else have an opportunity? And is, is it possible that, you know, the other ones don't want to speak at your event because... It's like a, it's almost like a, like a chicken and egg thing. Like, do they feel? I wouldn't be too surprised if there was like um, <clears throat> some camaraderie amongst the female presenters that do these events, and they might communicate about what events are cool. Yeah, I could see that. I, I don't. I'm not. I have no idea, but it would just kind of make sense to me. Um, creators talk, you know. I'm sure it's not that different for. Um, people that host events talk at events stuff like that shraf 2k says so tired of the sue simping well then you what? know maybe sorry maybe, next time he'll be into leather jackets and expensive kitchens like yeah maybe intel should you want? try you know being competitive <laughs> i mean it's an idea it's an idea it's what a, it's a it's why a, would you laugh that's a, a that's a real idea that's good maybe you should talk I'll, you know you what I, no i'm it. i'm gonna call them right now <laughs> You can say, look, if you don't want us to talk about how great AMD is doing under the leadership of Dr. Sue, then maybe you should compete better. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Let me just... Good idea. Uh, in... in oh, I mean, it's all numbers. How do I, how do I dial Intel? Is it, <laughs> it's a T9. <laughs> Role playing as a boomer. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, um, you know, I got to admit... I don't. I don't have solutions to these problems. I. Um, yeah. I, I want there to be them, but I, like. Oh, I just got added. I I organize a conference. Yes. Apparently, it's a thing. Added to what? Uh, no, they like at. Oh, the, added. No, um, you're role playing as boomer. Sorry. Yes. Yes. What? I, I don't remember what the question was. <laughs> to my like, they they probably talk to each other about oh. what events are cool. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was that wasn't really a question. Yeah. Um. Okay, yeah, Pokimane's a prominent woman in gaming, not tech. Yeah, this is a developer conference. This is like, you know what? This is like when people when people say that... And she probably I, doesn't want to go talk there anyway. This is like when people say that I run a tech company. Yeah, I, I mean, do. you do. Well, okay, that's a <laughs> different company. I mean, I'm... He runs a clothing company. You still run it. Okay, stop. <laughs> get, get but that's not what they're talking about. That's like when people say accurate things about me. <laughs> no, just, no, no, they don't. Linus likes hamburgers. <laughs> Good one. I'm going to Twitter right now. I mean, X. I mean, tell them all. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, okay. okay. The point is roasted. when people are referring to Linus Media Group, I know. I'm just and they bugging. say that I run a tech company. Seriously, the number of people that have made business pitches to me, you know, saying that I could, you know, help assist them or asking if I have any, you know, advice for their tech startup. I'm sitting here going, I literally, it has the, okay, I put my own name in the name, okay? I put everyone else in the name, and then I put, <laughs> and then I put media in the f***ing name. How could I be more explicit? Yeah, but you literally had a software startup. Yeah, I know. I mean, did I have it start up, or did I have it just kind of float wow, there? <laughs> wow, wow, boom roasted. <laughs> I mean, I was told when we were starting it, like, you know, when you guys are ready, I'm so excited. I'm going to, I'm going to like do the business side of this. And then 
I wanted to. <laughs> yeah. It was really busy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh man! I mean, in fairness to float plane guys, the tech is super cool. It is very good, and the supporters over there you are absolutely what? amazing. <laughs> Shout out float plane chat right now. Um, it is self sufficient, and I've told Luke this before. Float plane did what I thought was impossible. Uh, float plane built a completely self funded dev team within our company that has allowed us to do all kinds of incredible things, many of which you haven't seen yet, uh, but you will, you will someday. And it's awesome. And all of it, all of it is possible because of the float plane supporters that we have. So you know what? Shout out you guys. You are the real MVP. Dank pod likes, he likes it a lot. Thank Pods is he's a he's a fan. Yeah, we legitimately do have actual creators on the platform other than ourselves as well. Yeah. It's just they have to be realistic creators that understand and appreciate the value of Floatplane. The value is not that you're going to get the best possible revenue split because that's not how this works. We are self-funded. We have to we are privately held. We have to actually make money. This is not just we can burn VC money we, uh, and just create a large user base without caring about sustainability. Our 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 revenue share is, I believe, competitive with uh, YouTube memberships. YouTube and Twitch, yeah. And, and with Twitch. But compared to some other services that, for example, don't pay for their own video hosting, yeah, it's not going to look as competitive. Um, but the difference is that we're never going to rug pull you because it's sustainable, right? So We have a new channel on the platform, too. And there's really cool stuff. Okay, I'm going to tell you about that in a second. And there's really cool stuff about the platform that not everyone appreciates. Not everybody cares that, you know, the sound quality is better. Dang Pods does. It's very nice on stream. Matters a lot to him. Yeah, especially when he's time. streaming. <clears throat> it's really hard to have a drum stream sound good when your audio is all compressed to heck. And we don't even necessarily know why. We didn't do a lot for that. Well, but yeah, people but that's come exactly to the stream it. all the time and they're like, it's great. And it's like, okay. But Luke, that's exactly it. We yeah. didn't do anything. I mean, I'll take it. We didn't kill it. <laughs> yeah, <I guess. laughs> Sometimes that's all you have to do is not make it worse actively. <laughs> uh, we, we, we get comments about that like literally all the time and it's, it's always surprising to me. I don't watch a lot of streams though. So like, uh, also known as none. <laughs> so, do we have know. any idea why the Twitch stream keeps going down? Because Flowplane's nope. not and YouTube's not. If YouTube and Floatplane are not, then like, mm. oh, that's weird. But yeah, James Channel, James Channel is now on Floatplane. You might recognize that re- reference, maybe I don't know, possibly if you have watched, uh, what is it called on YouTube? It's it's the Trash Network's car channel, which I believe is Garbage Time. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. So Garbage Time, he's hey. the he's the mechanic for dank pods on garbage time and now he has his own channel on floatplane oh super cool doing stuff with video games i'm apparently not subscribed yet okay. old video games retro video games super cool checking out electronics brand new release from mcdonald's heck yeah i mean yeah it's definitely got a yeah they, these guys have a a vibe they got a shtick yeah <laughs> 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 oh, I wonder if I'm allowed to. You know what? Uh, I'm 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 going for it. I'm going for it. Um, did you know that someone is traveling? Is that is that? Can't subscribe. Oh yeah, he has no public. Yeah, apparently we're hanging out. Is that he common told, knowledge? He told me today. <laughs> so, so I was like, oh, uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, Dank Pod's coming to town. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be great. Yeah, it's sick. Yeah, because something we happens. we made our own headphones. He's Whoa. gonna he's gonna help us uh, he's gonna help us review them. No, no, oh. I don't mean we developed a product. Okay, I mean All we right. made headphones. All right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there it's, we go. it's gonna be good. Uh, Adam was involved, so uh, you you know that the build quality is gonna be on par with what Adam and I build. <laughs> I love. Uh, I was told I was told to set James Channel's channel public, um, and it's there, and you can see it, and you can see all the content. But you, he, he didn't set up any plans, so you you can't subscribe. <laughs> So I'm going to have to tell him to go in and set some plans. <laughs> nice job onboarding there, Luke. I, 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 just, <laughs> I did what I could. They got to they gotta set up the plans. I mean, if 100% of the users you onboarded this week screwed it up, then is it really on them? Oh, that's a good point. That is honestly a pretty good point. 
Uh, okay, another topic. I want to talk about the dbrand case defy situation. All right, so this uh, source one is uh, wait, what is this? Source one is on Twitter. Twitter. Ooh, Mango Parade at dbrand. I work at Best Buy. Got an internal notice that Case Defy's ripoff products are being recalled countrywide. Don't sell, recall, withdrawn. iPhone 14 Pro, Case Defy. Oh, interesting. I wonder if this is Best Buy's own initiative or if this is Case Defy trying that? to get these things back. What is that text? Don't sell, dash, recall, slash, misspelling of withdrawn. Don't sell. Recall slash withdrawn. Mm, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Case Defy says it is investigating the allegations of copyright infringement leveled by Dbrand and Zach from Jerry Rig Everything, as well as a DDoS attack that disrupted our website when the allegation surfaced. Um, are you really expecting sympathy right now? <laughs> also, pro tip. <laughs> don't complain about a ddos oh <laughs> i did think like what are you gonna what are you gonna come up with with your investigation if i was gonna write a manual <laughs> okay if i was gonna write a manual leave, for, leave that bear alone <laughs> for how to not for how to not not get ddos it yeah. would be to say no it's just, just please, please don't ddos me that would be no, that would be step one in the manual. Oh boy. It made me so sad. <laughs> but yeah, my thing is like what, what they they think they're gonna come up with like it was definitely deep red who DDoSed us. Like what do they what do they think this is gonna result in? No, it wasn't. Uh yeah. Um they claim that Case Defy has always been a bastion of originality and Sick. they hold pride in that. That's cool. Um, <laughs> Dbrand has been one heck of a cannon the whole time, so I think it makes sense. And <laughs> <laughs> really, cannons attacking they, they bastions. Do, they do like to send it. Um, Case Defy withdrew its line of Inside Out cases from sale on its own site last week, but they were still available for sale in person and online via Best Buy this week. Yeah, I Best suspect Buy it was recall. Case Defy that called the back. That kind of makes sense. Um, our discussion question. This is great. Who the hell begins their copyright claim investigation with we have always been a bastion of originality when the alleged, I added this part, alleged crime is this obvious. The guilty. Casetify. <laughs> That's the full list. The, the allegedly guilty. That's the, <laughs> this, is, this is brutal, dude. Yeah. This is absolutely brutal. I can't, I can't. Sure is. I mean, here's the thing. I, I think if they apologize, it's an admission of guilt. Whereas if they don't, they can still fight it. Mm. So that's uh, like, I, I don't know exactly how the legal system works even here. I, I haven't really been embroiled in a lot of legal troubles. So, um, <laughs> anyway, um, and I especially don't know how the legal system works in other jurisdictions. But my understanding is that, uh, you know, Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. And if they were to say something like, we're sorry we infringed on you, Let's, we'll, we're going to pull them down now. Then if Dbrand and Zach were not just all like, okay, we chill now, then their case would become even more open shut than it already appears to be. So I, I doubt they have a choice with respect to, you know, apologizing and admitting their errors. Um, at least from like uh, protecting themselves from legal damages standpoint, but they definitely didn't have to say that they were a bastion of originality. <laughs> yeah. So I guess that's where we're at on that. Oh, interesting. In Ontario, there apparently is an apology act, which is the kind of thing you would have in Canada, which makes it so that saying sorry isn't an admission of guilt. Hashtag sorry. I mean, remember that this is this is Canada. This is this is Canada here. Okay, 
Sorry, sorry is just it's we bump into other people at the airport and we're like, or sorry, other people bump into us at the airport and we're like, sorry, 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 sorry for being in your way, yeah. in the way of you. I'm sorry, my face was where your elbow needed to be. Like, in Canada, it can also be a question. I don't know if that's a thing in other places in the world. A so question, be like, sorry. Yeah, no, that's a thing. Like, hello. Yeah, that's that's totally a thing, right? I don't know. Might be. I don't know. I was a I was a what kid what, um and one of my That's obnoxious yeah yeah one of, one of my friends <laughs> was a um a pardon excuse me That's... I beg your pardon, and I started doing it to mock him, and now I'm one hundred percent on like pardon yeah you do that I'm very I'm I'm so sorry I didn't hear you yeah. like I'm. <laughs> <laughs> so the more the, the funny thing with linus is like the more uh, how do you say it i beg your pardon the more like appropriately he words it the m absolute like it's it's a, maybe even it's logarithmic i'm not sure but it's it's more sassy no it's it's just habit now i don't, I don't even oh, mean it, it scales a little bit it, it started sassy and it started that sassy yeah but like has it toned I, down? Maybe I just haven't been paying attention. Luke, I don't even think about it. I'll hear myself say. I'll hear myself I don't think you say. You need it. to though. But but I'm not even. But I'm not even sassy. A it's lot just of time one of those I, reflex gunners. I just you know? didn't I just didn't hear you. Uh, and I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Begging your pardon, sir. Okay, that there I'm if being he, sassy. That's my point, though. If he, if he, if he, that is the most sassy thing I've ever had. <laughs> See, please, sir, I beg your pardon. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh my goodness. And get out of here, NVIDIA. You're no yeah. longer a graphics company. Yeah, apparently. What does that even mean? I mean I'll they, tell you. They've been you. trending this direction for a long time. According to NVIDIA Vice President of Corporate Marketing, Greg Estes, speaking to reporter uh, Stephen Witt, the decision to pivot to AI happened incredibly quickly, shortly after the rise of ChatGPT. CEO Jensen Huang sent out an email one Friday evening saying... Everything is going to deep learning, and we are, we're no longer a graphics company. By Monday morning, we were an AI company. Literally, it was that fast. Which is obviously complete bullshit. <laughs> NVIDIA has been moving towards <laughs> GPU compute. Um, Just everything changed. Yeah. Everything. <laughs> we woke up and we were like, whoa. <laughs> Yeah. The uh, air even feels different in here. It's remarkable that you got blindsided by this because <laughs> the rest of us have been talking about it for years. <laughs> um, but hey. Oh, man. It's cool that you guys finally said the quiet part out loud. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was wh how uh, Wit referred to Estes's statement. Around the same time, NVIDIA's leading AI researcher, who I assume they hired uh, right when they made this decision... Because why would they have an AI researcher if they were a graphics company before? <laughs> so they just they they pivoted so fast. Um, Brian Catanzaro said that uh, Huang approached him and told him, "quote To imagine he'd marched all eight thousand of Nvidia's employees into the parking lot. Then he told me I was free to select anyone from the parking lot to join my team." That's so wildly over dramatic. Yeah, that's like not actually how that works anyway. That's like Bollywood <laughs> kind of. <clears throat> Imagine. <laughs> and then it turns into a giant dance number. Yeah. And then, like, some Jeep comes, like, flying over. The <laughs> Somebody's riding on the hood. Like, yeah, let's go. I'm the one that's going to be selected. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> what does this mean for desktop graphics? Did you and I make the switch to Team Red just in time to not have a choice anymore? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I suspect they'll still make GPUs. Why bother? Yeah, keep the fabs. Not for else. everybody stays in the consumer space. I mean, okay, obviously this is a much, much smaller scale example, but I think consumers in general, particularly enthusiasts, tend to overestimate their own importance. I think they tend to overestimate yeah. the size and strength of the enthusiast market. And obviously gaming has grown a lot, but I think to consumers, DFI, for example, died 
you know, 15 years ago or 10 years ago or whenever, whenever they, whenever they stopped making sad day motherboards. I like DFI. Except for one small detail. They never stopped making motherboards. DFI still exists today. Every once in a while, I will walk past the DFI booth at a trade show and be like, oh yeah, Diamond Flower International. Sorry, excuse me. Design for innovation. That was a, that was a retcon back in the day. Um, yeah, I, oh, IBM. Yeah, IBM is a great example. They even pulled out their like sub-brand. That, yeah. That they got rid of Lenovo. Yep. See you later. And so why not? Why, why doesn't NVIDIA just go, eh, AI is the future. Why don't we just buy every possible wafer and turn it into AI accelerators? Just because turn it into, it's probably worth more than gold. And just know. be the entire AI future of the entire planet <laughs> and uh, let AMD and Intel fight over like these like tiny scraps whiny that are you all the time. gamers. Yeah. Yeah. Like bow to their, you know, complaining about your prices. They complain about your, your product. They complain about everything, you know? And, and to be clear, I'm not saying the complaints aren't valid. I'm just saying that it's a lot less challenging from a day to day standpoint, not from an engineering standpoint, but from a day to day standpoint, having just a handful of customers that you can engage with meaningfully one-on-one who have big money compared to having a whole bunch of customers that are going to that are going to hate you no matter what you do no matter how good of a deal you give them i don't think that that last part is necessarily true but i could see how nvidia might kind of perceive it that way these days you know from their point of view moore's law is dead and you should accept it and we're giving you the best we can deal with it um you know i'm sorry you're mad essentially right yeah um but it's not like we didn't like them when we felt like we were, you know, getting a lot from them. But, you know, really, it's not that we're not still getting stuff. It's just that we're not getting what we're accustomed to. And that's really, that's really challenging. Um, that makes us feel, you know, not, not taken seriously. And I, I guess, yeah, I don't, think, I don't think NVIDIA does take the gaming market nearly as seriously as it used to. And I think you can see that evidenced in the way that NVIDIA talks about it. Um, yeah, it sucks. Because it's not like I don't like the products, right? I mean, Z Biggie says, what's the percentage of their business that's graphics? Microsoft has about 8% of their revenue from Xbox, so if they keep a division that's 8%, why wouldn't NVIDIA keep graphics? I'm, I, look, it's possible, yeah, that they'll keep graphics forever, and they'll, and they'll you know, eventually turn into kind of a, you know, a, a scrappy subdivision or whatever the case may be. I don't think you can do that comparison either, though, but, because we're talking fab capacity. Well, not just not it's not just fab capacity. It's also just the um, I don't know. It's almost just like the will. <clears throat> it's like the it's like the 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 interest. You know, I I, I haven't I, I haven't spent a ton of time talking to Jensen. I've only met him I think a couple times. Um, but from you know interviews, from watching him talk, um, from those handful of interactions, you know he's, he's a super passionate guy. I'm sure every story I've heard about him, he's super super passionate. Um, I've heard him I've heard him described as the kind of boss where he can be hyper assertive and swoop in and act like he can do your job better than you can, and what makes you most infuriated is the fact that he fucking can and it's like okay well what do i do now because i've been you know like like I, i've heard him described that way i've also heard him described in other less favorable ways but the point is everything aligns with this perception that he's extremely passionate and he's clearly passionate about ai now um and their leadership very much flows from the top down yeah and so you know what yeah maybe maybe gaming you know does continue to get some attention over there but maybe it doesn't because remember too it's not just about what percentage of your overall business it is sometimes it's about what looks better to your shareholders and gaming margins are pretty crappy compared to workstation margins compared to enterprise margins um and you know what yeah they they might they might like the volume um, you know, that, that might 
ultimately result in in bigger volume discounts for their real products that they make margin on when they're booking with a you know a TSMC or who knows someday maybe Intel's you know fab uh, fab business or something like that. But I don't. I just all I'm saying is I don't think it's a guarantee. Yeah. CEOs are infinitely replaceable. I don't get the focus on them, says Siginth. That's super not true. That's actually like super not true. Think about it this way. I think we can all agree that a bad CEO can destroy a company. QED. That was it. Yep. That's it. That whole argument obliterated. Um, Next topic. Sponsors. Oh, all right, yeah, f those guys, right? <laughs> we kid, we kid, okay? MSI has got their holiday giveaway. Lucky the Dragon wants to share some luck with you this holiday. And our sponsor, MSI, is hosting their largest giveaway, and you have a chance to win a whole PC setup. Wow. I'm talking CPU, GPU, motherboard, SSD, monitor, and more. Basically, it's everything that completes a sick system. There are... 15 ways to enter. What the That's heck? That's a lot. Uh, you earn extra entries by posting a video or photo on what you would do with your MSI setup or share with them what your current setup is and why it needs to be upgraded. Don't forget to add hashtag MyMSI in the post. That is very, very important. The prizes include three full desktop setups, one $1,000 and four $500 Amazon gift cards. And whoa, wow, look at these. Oh, wow, these are sick rigs. Okay, that's super cool. You can enter the giveaway before December 8th at midnight, so you still have one week to do it, but that doesn't mean you should wait until the sixth day. You should just do it now. You can also check out some lucky deals and enter the giveaway at the links down below. The show is also brought to you by Backblaze. You should always have a plan B when things happen unexpectedly. <laughs> hey, thank you for that, Dennis. You slowly falling in the pool will never get old. I'm not falling. That is a controlled entry uh -huh. into the pool. Yep. That's why our sponsor Backblaze is there to step in to be the solution to back up your files. Oh, plan B. Oh, that was very awkwardly worded. Good job, Dennis. <laughs> uh, Backblaze is affordable and easy to use and starts at just $9 a month. You can back up almost anything from your Mac or PC and access it anywhere in the world with their web and mobile apps. You can also easily protect business data through a centrally managed admin, allowing you to automatically protect all the data on your employees' computers, and they offer multiple restore options in the event of data loss or ransomware. Plus, you can increase your retention history to one year for an extra $2 a month, so you'll be worry-free if you accidentally delete any files. Backblaze has got 55 billion files restored, and they have two exabytes of data under their management, including some of ours. We back up our servers nightly to Backblaze here at Linus Media Group. So sign up for a 15-day free trial with no credit card required at backblaze.com slash when. And yes, the obligatory mention that Floatplane also uses Backblaze. Thank you, Luke. <laughs> the show is also brought to you by Manscaped. It's winter time, but that doesn't mean you can skip mo- <laughs> <laughs> I like that he's vibrating. Uh, he's okay. Cold. He's shivering. Yeah, it's like it's like the shaver. Uh, sh I'm shaver. Yeah, shaver. Uh, yeah, shaver. Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> that was not funny. It's pretty good. Um, our sponsor, Manscaped, is here to keep your lawn trimmed and fresh with their Performance Package 5.0 Ultra. It includes the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra for your downstairs mess, as well as the Weed Whacker 2.0 for your ears and nose, so, so it doesn't look like a Wookie in a clown car up there oh my god dennis <laughs> what have you done um that's not all there's more from the package for your package give your twins a nice touch with the crop preserver and crop soother please don't hurt yourself by bending over trying to take a whiff though your little buddies deserve spa treatment from you, so check out the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra at manscaped.com slash wanshow and use code wanshow for 20% off and free shipping. Wow. Amazing. Oh, this is hilarious. I didn't know Dbrand was a sponsor for the show today. They sponsored Wan Show After Dark. Yeah. So when I was all like, f*** Dbrand, our sponsor, I just thought it meant in general. Didn't I didn't mean know. specifically right now. <laughs> It's great. It works. All right. Oh, we're supposed to do three merch messages. Uh, do you want to do the first one, Luke? Because I have to go pee. Sure. Uh, if there's one for me, I will go. have a look. Nobody asked them about you. <laughs>
No, there's a, there's a couple good ones in here. Sure. Uh, Luke, any thoughts on World of Warcraft Classic Season of Discovery? I right. hadn't played Classic before, but it's been a blast finding and sharing new things with everyone. Yeah, my uh, my brother and a buddy of mine played last night, actually. Um, it's the only time I had this entire week, so it was convenient because it came out yesterday. <laughs> um, it's pretty cool. I, I am intentionally... The whole idea is the discovery word, right? So I've intentionally been going in pretty blind, um, not trying to look things up, just trying to play it and see what's going on. Um, and it seems neat so far. I don't have a lot else to say. I haven't played a ton. We'll see how it goes. So the whole idea, if you haven't heard of it, is they have like a progressing level cap. So it's classic with some changes through this rune system that you can look up if you care. Um, and then the initial level cap is level 25. And there's like, they turn some dungeon into a raid or something and we can go do that. And there's other new gear and things are cool. But it's like, it's like a, a, a different experience, but in the WoW classic environment, which is a cool concept. I feel like they took a lot of lead from um, like RuneScape, who's done very similar things. Uh, just like they took a lot of lead from RuneScape when they made WoW Classic at all. Um, so they're just, <laughs> just taking more leaves from that book. But yeah, it was good. Luke, as a software developer, why do you not share the programmer's pessimism perspective to large language model AIs? The last 10% is always the hardest and longest part. For example, self-driving cars. Yeah, when did I not say that? I have no idea. Uh, this sure. anonymous person thinks that you think like that. Yeah. Do you think like that? No. Um, I think I think I'm probably less pessimistic about where it's at now. That might be where the confusion's at. Um, I've said a number of times on Wan Show that I think it's like really far away from being 100 percent. Like many years, probably. Um, the halluc the hallucination problem is going to stick around for like a hot minute. Do you think um, it'll get worse? Because you're seeing self feeding data now. Yeah, there's there's a lot of potential for that. Uh, we'll have to see if they can find some tricks to try to stop that from happening. Um, it it felt like it kind of did at one point already. It's hard to measure. It's very hard to measure. <clears throat> um, but yeah, no, yeah, finishing this thing is going to be a problem. I said, like, in one of the first streams that we ever covered AI stuff, that's, of course, where we ended up, um, that, like, shipping products around this was going to be incredibly difficult and take a very long time. Um, and that has proven to be the case. Okay, and let's see. we got one more here for Linus. Nice. Uh, I'm just in time. You're just in time. It would have been awkward if you'd read one for Linus while I wasn't here. <laughs> With my kids deciding to plant my screwdriver bits, thanks for the restock, and needing to... <laughs> plant them? Like, like in, in the, the garden. garden. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to get more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's one weird trick. Uh, and needing shipment to Australia. What's the most expensive thing your kids have broken or lost? Hmm. Wow, my kids are actually super careful. Um... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> like I like my son got his first phone at I think eight um well seven or eight still has it perfect condition um trying to think what do they what do they have that's they all oh they almost broke something very expensive the uh the Sony OLED TV in the family room uh my girls while it was just sitting in the like the base of the TV packaging, while it was just sitting there, they knocked the whole thing over. Um, it, it lived, not a scratch. Whoa! I I gave them. It was a miracle that it wasn't broken because that that was thousands of dollars. Yeah. Um. So that's the, I think the closest that they've gotten to breaking something very significant i mean they do damage to the house and stuff but yeah, I, some of the, a lot of that's just gonna happen that's just that's ba that's pretty much wear and tear yeah uh yeah I'd, I'd say that's the worst they ever did i i, th I thought you were gonna take the approach of like you've kind of colloquially called some of your employees kids before <laughs> oh they've broken stuff <laughs> Yeah, don't imagine for a second that I'm the only one who's ever broken anything around here. I'm just the only one who is on camera when it happens. And catches the blame. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, I 100% thought it was going to your floor. <laughs> Anyways, I think that was the third. We move on. That Two, was three the more third. Topics. Yeah. Okay. Um, what, what, is, what is this? Legally distinct tech VTubers? I don't know what that is. From Zoa? I don't really want to click on that stuff. Hey, Linus, <laughs> click this. Well, I'm going to do it. Oh, my goodness. Uh, is that you and me? Yep. Let's go. I got Lena Sylvester. Flyboat? Flyboat Media. It. That's great. Lucy Levelure. That's a really good name, actually. That's actually sick. Oh, okay. It's like a stage name. That's dope. That's a great, <laughs> great name. <laughs> wow. Ah, uh, cool. I. That's not what I was expecting to look at today. You're mm -hmm. actively dropping a GPU. I think I'm throwing it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm down with that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I think it's great. Oh, okay. I, I would VTuber with that persona. I would 100% do that. Oh, what is this? Is this a video? Also, Dan. Wait, what? No way. No way. No way. What is it? Wait for it. Legally distinct tech show producer. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I love the little, like, the, like, anime sweat bead thing. Oh, <laughs> you see it? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that totally fits. I have one of those, like, turtleneck uh, sweater <laughs> yeah, things, too. Yeah. Very similar. That is, that is very cool. I'm flattered. That's those are super dope. cool. Uh, great, great job. Um... You've done this. Oh, yours has earrings. Yeah, that that doesn't surprise me. They are they are shockingly on point. They're actually really good. I genuinely really like mine. <laughs> That's cool. All Don't right. say wood. Get out of here. <laughs> Leave it alone. <laughs> Don't do that. That's that's me. That's literally me. You can't say that. Come on. Oh, all four of you. I feel I feel protective of my little avatar now, Lucy. Don't make <laughs> don't go after Lucy. Leave Lucy alone. Oh no, <laughs> float plane. Why? Leave Lena alone. She's too. lawless. Sorry, oh but, my! Yeah, I don't know. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's um. Let's move <laughs> on. Uh, Microsoft Paint Plus now with Dolly. Oh, no way! We get to try it? Yay! The Windows 11 Paint app oh. now has an integrated co-creator text-to-image generator feature. Yeah, so and it's is on this, this laptop. Is this all users, or is this just, like, early access people? Pre-release, or... pre okay. Into it, okay. Okay, hey, Luke, want to play a game? Sure. It's called MS Paint. It's the best <laughs> game. Uh, uh, okay, if people from people from our era... Um, that's actually a thing. When when you didn't have the internet. <laughs> no, I want it. <laughs> Come on, Lena. Why are you taking it? Come on, no, I Lena. Want my, I want the dock in the chat. Can I just have it here? Let him, let him have can it, I, Can I just have it? It's playing audio. Yeah, because you unplug the HDMI, so the audio mean? device reset. No, Dan told me to unplug the HDMI. Yeah, but there's other steps included in that process. <laughs> Figure it out, Lena. Trying so, to make things smooth, sorry, can't make it smooth. Sorry, Luca, or whatever your name is. Lucy, get it right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I mean, I only got one letter wrong. It's 75% right. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You should totally license the design for some t-shirts. <laughs> that would be a pretty specific reference. But I bet you people would buy it. Stop. <laughs> I know I would. Stop it! Dan! No! 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 Stop! Is the computer not even booting? I mean, Dan prepared it, so it was a 50 50 shot from the outset. Everything's 50 50. In this case, it either worked or it didn't. 
Oh, you know what? I think it's probably um, outputting to the external display because it's, it's on. It's not. It's like oh, it's no not. body pillow. It's no. not even okay. on. Stop. We have a body pillow coming. <sighs> is it like a GPU? All I'll say is that it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> no. <sighs> oh. I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> It just uses the confetti design from the um, the women's underwear and the onesie. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we Those decided cool. we decided not to go anime girl with it. Um, mm. We mm. we thought we'd keep it. Um, you know, put the CL in it. You know, you know, with the CL, classy, <laughs> not without the CL. You know, <laughs> just <laughs> classy with an I. What's going on here, Dan? I don't know. The laptop won't turn on. Maybe take the laptop away from him and get it turned on and then bring it back. My magic we fingers. Can, we can do another I topic. I touch tech, it break. Luke said this would happen. Did it I? Did you say this would happen? Breaks? Did I? Oh, yeah. No, I totally did. Yeah, let's go. I remember that. <laughs> I didn't do anything. It, no, I was... Uh, I can't explain no. this. It doesn't even have <laughs> Linux on it. That I, will, that I know. No, this is this is my whole point. I was talking about how we we were gonna work on something, but I was like, we we have to be really really thorough about it. Uh, we should test it really thoroughly, and then before we release it, we need to hand it to Linus because everything breaks when he touches it. So that'll be our like final line of of testing. Sometimes things magically work when I touch them, though. Yeah, you've witnessed that. But if something is currently working, so my power is that I change the just functional state. status of things. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. It's okay. Right. <laughs> That's really funny. That's fine. We'll do that later. Yeah. Yeah, whenever it's working. Who cares? Um, we can talk about how our social media team is hiring. Sure. We're hiring both a short form video coordinator and an organic content and memes coordinator. Is that really a job title here? I'll call it out right now as well. It's going to be posted up very soon. I wanted it posted up this week, but there was... There was um, it's there for reasons it's not but it, it'll be up sometime next week uh but we're posting a position that probably a surprising amount of you are going to be interested in and i'm kind of terrified about the incoming applications but it is local only so that should help a lot it must be local only and you must literally right now be legally able to work in canada mm. um so like you pretty much have to be here already to be clear but um we are hiring a like junior level one uh, IT tech support position. We need some help on that team. So full time. You're going to get some applicants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Full time. Um, but you don't need a ton of experience. Uh, we are looking for someone that would obviously be able to like um, construct and deconstruct computers, do some um, basic troubleshooting, um, have some basic understanding of, of networks and networking, stuff like that. Lots of opportunity to learn on the job, working under like AJ and Sean and myself and with Dan. Um, and yeah, it should be really cool. Maybe an interesting opportunity, but it is, a, yeah, it is a very junior position. Um. Yeah. Sounds mint. Junior mint. All right. I was like, is he being a zoomer? A and I was like, nope, he's being a boomer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're not sure which one. Mint's not you a zoomer either. thing. Junior mints? No, I just mean like mint. That's mint. That's that's not. Nah, that's ancient. Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. I I'm not gonna say. Yeah. I have All no right. idea. Wait, what do you mean, nice zoomer talk? No, Elijah said Did the same thing. Did I just thing. fool him? Is he trying to act like? How old is he? Is he not Zoomery anymore? Is he not young? I don't know. Are Zoomers old now? No. I don't know. I've, What's I've, the one under them? I mean, they're less old than us. No, What's the next one? Under alpha. them is Gen Alpha. Oh wow! I know, right? <laughs> wow! I mean, who gets to name <laughs> these things? Imagine being called Gen Alpha. Yeah. Then what's the next one going to be? Sigma. Like, wow. Yeah. Gen Chad. Like wow. you're just. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, you good, Dan? 
The battery was charged, and then we did WAN show, and he, it only lasts for like... He says the battery hours. was charged, which... Oh, uh, yeah. So Dan did something really cool, too, with the, the like, back grid display thing. That sounds here. like good use of time. Here you go. Um, honestly, he was probably you. bored waiting for you, yeah. He was actually waiting for Luke. Oh, damn. God, I'm waiting for Luke. Love it. Psych. You guys couldn't hear his comeback. I was stuck in a meeting. <laughs> Luke got <laughs> roasted. I did. Like, over an open fire. Yeah. He was a chestnut. If I was... It's Christmas. I was, what do you want? If I was... <laughs> <laughs> it's December now. If I was Gen Alpha, it probably wouldn't even have affected me at all. It's fair game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I never checked if um, Elijah responded. To what? <sighs> Man, the next AMD Ultimate Tech Upgrade is great. Oh, he said I'm 17, so he's like, clearly... They, um... That's not true. They, I don't believe you. They Elijah saved true. the workspace. <laughs> what? <laughs> so we've got work safe signs on the stairs <laughs> about really maintaining three points of contact. Cover the stairs with pillows. <laughs> we also provided Elijah with a helmet. <laughs> we thought it was easier to put the padding on him than to try to put the padding on everything he might touch. Fair enough, yeah. <laughs> Just like tape them up like pillows. <laughs> uh, you guys. <laughs> oh yeah, you got to look at the back of the laptop. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's um, that was good use of time. Oh, I thought it said short Linus. Okay, no. okay. Oh no, Wait, what? Well, no, I don't know. I thought maybe DRAM put him up to it because they sponsored the uh, they sponsored the uh, After Dark today. Uh, the okay, is the Wanshore. Does it just say Linus tech to, okay, oh, that, wow. Does this take a long time, or is it just like, you just like do text entry? I think you just took like, a long time to comprehend it. Because <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> I'm just asking if it takes a long time to program it, okay? Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's done in After Effects. It took about 25 hours. Shut up. Stop. No, it's just part of the ROG tool. Yeah, I just mean like do you, do, you just, it, do you just type entry? Linus tech tips. Like, can you then, do different fonts and stuff? Or yeah, like there's font selection. Oh. You can do little animations and pictures That's and things cool. like that. It's neat. Yeah, I've never played around. With Is it before. already set up for the three different lines? You can have up to eight. Okay. Really? Yeah. So the but the the lines on an angle is like a default thing. Yeah, you have to do it exactly <laughs> like this, and it kind of is frustrating. Ah. But whatever. Uh, okay. Okay, that seems Woo! to be working. Let's get rid of your person there co-creator okay so here we go uh i have no idea how this works so i'm you, gonna make you only Luke... have 50 tokens right now you oh. can see down the bottom so don't go like too crazy okay so i'm gonna make luke super mad <laughs> um because i'm probably gonna you know do something that you know it doesn't do or whatever and they didn't intend and then he'll be <laughs> mad no i don't care just do it I'm drawing with a trackpad, okay, so go easy on me here. Uh, okay, I'm going to need... When are you going to use the co-creator? Do I make a Manscaped I, joke? I'm going to use the co-creator, okay? Oh, okay, so you're going to you're gonna draw a base scene and you're going to ask it to, like, improve it or something? Yeah, I okay. want, like... Um, That's cool. That seems you know, like a good use. I want... Uh, the. You should mm. ask it to add something to it while matching your art style. Hmm, mm, interesting, Okay. That's not something I thought of, but I, I do I do like. I just I seriously don't think it'll be able to do it, but I just Okay, what just happened? I didn't what I did this? I not just say solid fill? <laughs> what was the point of me saying that? I am not sure if I understand. I must have done something wrong here, but there, boom, got him. Um and then let you know what? Let's do some uh let's do some little flowery flowers. Nice. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Things were attempted. Let's put some happy little trees over there. Happy little flowers. Okay, here we go. That little happy flowers. Boop. Wow. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Such, such legally distinct petals. <laughs> Leaves? Okay. I would like to add... Is that a black line with like a red outline? Is that what you just did? Getting fancy. Can you add a person... I, I, no, why do I... Why am I so polite? Add a person to my scene in the same art style. You can be polite. It's fine. Uh, create. create. I, I just, have a feeling it's going to struggle with the art yeah, style. Yeah, there's no, there's no way. Yeah. I just want to see it, like, try. 
It's thinking for a minute. Wow. Interesting. It did try. Um, okay. Let's try something else. Oh, so it doesn't actually do it? Do you have to, like, drag and drop the selections over? Is that what's going on? No, that's these are styles you can select. <clears throat> no, no, no. The, the thing's under it. These? Yeah. I don't know. Because you said, can you add it to it? Can it actually do it for you? Oh. Wow. Yeah, okay. That is very surrealist. I mean, that's something. Yeah. It is a thing. <clears throat> Takes a minute. <clears throat> huh. What is that? What the? I mean, that's... What kinda, is that chair? It's kind of like what I drew. Is it... Does that go... Uh, um, does that go uh, between your legs or... <laughs> very smooth? It's got It's got quite the headrest on there. Uh, what about this chair, though? <laughs> oh, my. Huh. That's a unique design. I think that this would be an amazing store. <laughs> AICreations.com. You just find things like this. You, you, you f***ing make oh, them. Oh, yeah. So, like, you make this, like, impossible chair because you just, you route that, uh, the, the, like, black line that's on there, like, through the top and you make it work. It would be possible. It would just be kind of sketch. Like Man, as that a, back leg, that's just a spike. <laughs> like, um, has this been done? Like, as a, as an art installation, just like, you know, as a commentary on AI or whatever. Just like someone creates. People are already grabbing the domain. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm it's sure over. they are. It's over. I'm sure they are. What are these other ones that came up with? It, it does. Uh, hold on. Hold on a second. Did anyone? Did anyone own it already? I'm sure there are people who just like already have it ready to go. I hate AI that GoDaddy is like still the fastest way to check this. No, nah, man, that's taken. That's taken. Yeah. AIcreation.ca is for one cent. Nice. <clears throat> I, I, I kind of just want to look at some of this stuff. What is What's this up with thing? that lamp? Like, what is, what is, Luke, what is this thing? <laughs> I don't know. It looks like a desk organizer, actually. What is this? It, it uh, looks plushy. like. Yeah, it looks like somewhere between Eeyore and Ratatouille. Yeah. There's a measuring tape that's like partially out. Just on the table. Is this a balloon? A hard hat? Popcorn bowl? Impossible old, to say. Uh, that is some art. Buster ones? Definitely it's definitely a lot of art. It's really interesting seeing the AI art within the AI art. Yeah. It was like, yeah, I don't know, lamp. I, f I guess lamp. Um, but like worse. Uh, worlds within worlds. Like what would an Multi -dimensional AI... Multi-dimensional art. What would an AI draw? That's pretty cool. I mean, it's not what I asked for, but it's what pretty cool. That? Like, how do these... I, I just think it just did a photorealistic scene. I don't, I don't yeah. know if it really tried yeah. to... Yeah, I, I think it didn't look at what you did at all. Hmm. Like, not even slightly. Okay, well, why don't we, why don't we ask it for... So, so, basically, then, is this any different... I can't... Does connect. it look at what you've done at I all, or is it these. just the prompt? I think it might just be a prompt. <coughs> there's, a little, know, in, there's a little information icon just to the right of describe what you want to oh, see. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wonder if that helps. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. No, I mean, I also, also don't know. Powered by Dali, an AI system that creates realistic images, blah, blah, blah. If you find a creation to be unexpected or offensive, send us feedback. Yeah, so no, this is just... I think that first image might have been slightly offensive. This is just Dali. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Cho so choose a style. What's under choose a style? Oh. Oh, in the style of anime. I'm excited right now. I hope I'm doing a cool stance when I do it. It probably won't. Um, I hope I'm like Naruto running. It, it, it won't it's gonna show have a no specific idea who person. I am. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's just, there's like, there's no actual like nose. The finger's just there. <laughs> He's choosing where his nose is going to go. This neck thing that neck got is going intense. on. Though. Wow. Those collarbones are How are we doing for finger, for finger count here? Hmm, the whoops. fingers are... There are six of them, which is fine. Also, this is an interesting shape. Yeah. All right, let's see the rest of them. <laughs> that one's like better. I'm not picking, but it's better. Yeah, yeah. I think it's better. Yeah. Is that the correct amount of fingers? No, no. I mean, well, well I don't know. It depends, it depends what this there. thing is. Yeah. Yeah. Not sure what that is. <laughs> I think this one might be my favorite. 
<laughs> he tried to pick his nose, but he you missed because his eyes were closed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So wait, but is this actually? Wait, is this actually? I, it, they're all kind of blonde and blue eyed. Yeah. Did it actually know who I was talking about? I don't know. I can't tell. Um, Theoretically, you can search the internet now, so like maybe. Okay. Um, Do you? Luke Lafreniere from Linus Tech Tips. Uh, oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Um, as an anime girl with ears, <laughs> let's see how close we can get to that artwork from earlier in the show. All right. Here we go. Yeah. I'm very scared. Lucy. I don't remember the last name. It's stressful. I expect greatness. It's apparently against Dolly Terms of Service to do real people. Oh. Well, that didn't oh, stop wow. it. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Yikes. That looks really... Not anime. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he's wearing a blue hoodie. Like, I think I think this is actually inspired by you, though. Yeah. Um, hmm. Hmm. That's not, not as close. Yeah. The first one was. <laughs> oh. Uh, wow. wow. There's some stuff going <laughs> on. There's some stuff going on here for sure. The, oh, the cat ear okay. things are just like behind him as well. Uh, no, no, that's the other picture. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, you mean this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they look more like horns. Sure. Okay. Um, I mean, see, it's funny because it's like, oh, sweater no, privilege. we can't quite do that. We can't have too much resemblance, but like, here's a black and orange hoodie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Here's a kind of weird neck beard. So it's obviously using a very old image of you if, if it did use an image of you as a reference. I here. mean, that's probably what is most common. You know, I haven't really been in that many videos. All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh, man. There's interesting reference for this because of the, the cat ear headphones. Mm. And also the fact that... Uh, oh, well... Oh, mm. Okay. Uh, that yeah. looks very similar to one of the ones that uh huh uh, looked like me. Whoa, Whoa. that is uh, Whoa. Uh, wow. Okay. Should have just not even had the hand up. Those neck muscles are pushing Intense. for that face, and then you know what? Wow, that's. I think the closest we're probably going to get here. Look at that right hand. I mean, that's a left hand, but... Left hand. Yes. Yeah. You did good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, why don't we try Why don't we try one more One more thing? You got any other ideas? So what, what would this be helpful with? My favorite oh, is anything paint, with paint Francesco a... Goya in the style of Francesco Goya. Ah, uh, that's sort of controversial, Dan. Is it? Is okay, it? never mind then. Yeah, I think Who's so. Who's that? I don't know. Um, okay, okay, hold on. Um, uh, I want to color uh, a picture of a duck. Um, <laughs> or, uh, oh, this is a good idea. Black okay. and white All right. um, picture of a duck with, um, with white spaces. Uh, you should for be able to ask it color. for a paint by numbers. Uh, well, here, let's just see if it can give me something to color. Okay. So this is something I could see, like, a child using it for. I also want to do, uh, I, I also want to do, like, uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, okay, sure. That looks, like, perfect. That yeah. one a little bit less so. Uh, that yeah, one perfect. Some weird stuff going on with the foot there, but, like... Yeah, that's fine. So if I was just... Well, I just mean like that's perfect for coloring. Like, Yeah, if I was just a kid. Not even and I was commenting like, oh, yeah, on the oh, fact that it has one giant one foot. One giant foot. That's interesting. Oh, it's not perfect for coloring. I can't use the paint bucket. Oh. That's unfortunate. Uh, I mean, you know, it's kind Flawed. of... Flawed. It's kind of got some... That art style is kind of neat though, actually. Yeah, it's cute. Uh, man, yeah, that's very frustrating. Some of those zones are real small. Anyway, there's a duck. Um... Okay, I... Paint by numbers? I, um, I am... Uh, sh uh, picture of a tech YouTuber background set uh, with RGB lights. There. You know, so if you were looking for some inspiration... Why did I leave it on anime? I don't even, I don't even know what I'm... 
I don't even really know what I'm trying to do with the styles here. <laughs> Maybe that's why the eyes of the duck look that way. Oh, that would explain it. <laughs> mm, tech YouTuber background style. Oh, that would be expensive. What I mean, no, here? you just, you Ooh, know. Ooh, a tech YouTuber. You just do it in green screen. Wow, look at the veins on this hand. Wow. Oh, what is this? The fingers. Yeah, the fingers Whoa. are really weird. You'd think they, like, you know, would just kind of hard code that fingers can't look like that at some point. You know, like, okay, yeah, they, these are the rules of how knuckles. They're more interested in advancement at this point. Yeah, that's I think fair. people aren't spending as much time refining and they're just trying to move forward. I mean, these are not that bad. There's <clears> definitely <throat> some inspiration here, if nothing else. They're all kind of samey, which is sort of a bummer. Blue and red, hey? <laughs> Interesting that the background matches the Wan show. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, last one, last one for me. And then if you want to do, if you want to do one more, we we still can. Takes a little while. I I get it. Okay, that's kind of that's a cool vibe. Pretty cool, actually. What is on the wall? What is it trying to do? There's a camera there in the this upper here? right. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I think these are supposed, supposed to, be to be like computers? wall-mounted computers. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, obviously a speaker, a joystick. Like, what is this thing? That I might don't just know. be a figurine. Look at this keyboard. That is scuffed. Whoa. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> There's keys on like the front of it. Yeah. Wow. Uh, All right. Cool. What else we got here? Man, I kind of like this speakers embedded in walls thing that it's got going on. Yeah. Yeah. These, you know what? Some of these really do immediately give me product ideas. Yep. Like just a little RGB <clears throat> dot that you just like put somewhere and it's just cute and it just glows. Like that that's kind of awesome. Make it so the battery lasts a long time and whatever. Yeah, or you could plug it in or use a battery or whatever. Um I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going on up here, but it, boy, is it ever something. And I mean, I think at this stage, this is realistically more along the lines of what you're gonna be able to use an AI image generator for. Uh, oh man! They're wow. doing uh, close. Ooh, what socket? Uh, they're doing close-up macro inspection of uh, one of their systems while they listen to embedded wall speakers. Just yeah, it. this embedded wall speaker thing. They're pretty sick. That's they're weird. Actually cool. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> you know, unironically, I like the design of this mic. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I don't know exactly how it works, but that that stand would like never hold that. Look at this mouse got the trackball or i think i'm not sure the keyboards are all mangled i, I never like realized it. how hard of a time it would have with keyboards yeah it kind of makes sense <clears throat> do you want to ask it to just do a keyboard uh um, we could probably do this all night we can move on yeah yeah that's okay we yeah. can. you know what yes i do all right i i do want to do that co-creator um what kind of keyboard would you like uh i feel like i want to give it something that it'll actually be able to do um Hmm. I just say a me mechanical, ten keyless mechanical desktop keyboard. Mechanical keyboard, not desktop, just mechanical. Keyboard. How do you, how the heck do you spell ten keyless? It's just ten. I'm just gonna put TKL. Key, less. Yeah, but is it one word? Yeah. Are you sure? That doesn't seem right. Uh, I think so. I pff, I could be wrong. Okay, a uh, desktop. Uh, keyboard for gamers? Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, all right. Here we go. What does a keyboard for gamers look like according to Dolly? And yes, it's one word. Cool. Photorealistic, yep. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's working on it. Yeah. Oh! Uh, wow, these characters, though. I mean, I guess it makes sense they would just make their own language. Why would their language need to be um, understandable by humans? Yeah, but Dally's Look, supposed to be hook. able to do other more different fish hook proper characters now. I'm Fire actually coming surprised out of the log. didn't. There's some weird extra keys at the bottom left there. Prove they weren't intentional. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. Ooh, the, this alphabet looks like my kids drew it. The like depth on those keys is pretty yeah. random. Wow. These are kind of cool keycaps. 
assuming they're that just they're not random size keys yeah though. so long that they uh, don't move down <laughs> no legend though you know hardcore mode yeah dan you're yeah. into it right sorry no legend oh hell yeah 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 i hear you <laughs> yeah a bunch of people are saying i don't know if it used the last model i i highly suspect this is a previous version of dolly um, there was a number of things there that it did very poorly that i have absolutely seen the newer version do a lot better um looks like dolly 2 yeah it kind of feels like it the hands on modern dolly are way better and modern dolly can do text properly mm -hmm. without making up like alien language got it um so yeah but i mean it's free in paint so yeah well it's free until you run out of tokens i guess but yeah it's free for a bit oh is are, are the tokens daily or all time i'm not sure but what I do know, Don't know is that we've got a few merch things to talk about that I kind of put off for a bit because we spent so much of the show talking about merch. More merch things. Yeah. The Retro Driver is now available. Technically, you I think it was that. available a week ago, but we actually never formally were like, yeah, it's available. Oh. Uh, so it's a fun retro gaming or Frieza-themed color. Also, our Philips and Torx bit sets are back in stock. Oh, that explains why we sold so many bit sets that day. <laughs> uh, we're also launching an upgraded magnetic chest strap for the backpack. I think it's, yeah. Okay, these are So yeah, super I think cool. you've shown Tried me one out. of these before. I don't remember how well, it Not works. down there, Luke. I didn't realize it was on my screen. <laughs> so, it slides like that. Nice and easy. Oh yeah, it kind of grabs itself, so you don't have to like, I'm going to not look. Uh, There we go. You don't have to slide it at all when you put it together. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that totally cool? totally just grabs. But try to rip it apart. Yeah, that's not going to work. I've seen these before. Super cool. So these are from Fidlock. They are but it's not... very easy yeah. this way, because yeah. it's supposed to be. But side to side, it just is not going to happen. They are not cheap. They are nineteen ninety nine. Uh, it just goes in as a drop-in replacement for the stock chest strap, which just has a more traditional... I don't even know what to call it. Like the kind of anchor-looking thing that goes into the other thing. It's a buckle. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, more traditional buckle. And... Um, it's really cool. <laughs> we just saw these things and we were like, oh, these are amazing. I have so people are already like, make a belt with it. That is actually where we went first. It didn't make sense. It's too bulky and like getting it through the loops is kind of a pain in the butt. And right. we hadn't worked on our own pants yet. We could have made our pants Fidlock belt compatible, but then like, okay, what are we creating? Like a walled garden ecosystem of clothing <laughs> that only works with each other? Yeah, it just didn't really make any sense. Do you want to buy this belt? Do you already, do you already own LTT pants? No? Ugh. <laughs> then forget it. Can't buy it. It doesn't uh, pair also, properly. Also, we would like some community feedback. A substantial number of the hoodies that we ordered for LTX ended up with logos that were crooked and didn't meet our standards. Uh, we are hoping to repurpose these hoodies by covering the LTX logo that's on them in crooked with something else. One of the ideas was an updated version of our iconic WAN couch. <clears throat> there's not really a couch in it anymore but that's okay that's a minor detail that's what it looks like i actually think it's super cool it looks pretty cool we both have beards now yeah <laughs> and we have an ugly stretched out <laughs> it looks <terrible>. hexagon wall <laughs> but hey is it true to real life yes yes <laughs> <laughs> i don't make the rules uh here's a mock-up of what it would look like on a riley Maybe like slightly different and less cheaply photoshopped than that, but yeah, basic basically that. So let let us know, guys, if you'd be interested in something like that. I, I think we only have a few hundred of them, but people are saying bread. Bread, really? I, I bet if you just put a bread you there, it me? would totally work. I mean, they're just patches. Like we can get different patches. I guess we could just have multiple different. Don't patches. tell don't tell people that, that you can do that. Don't tell people that you can get different patches. I mean, it's too late. Convoy says VTuber girls. Yeah, we should throw um, uh, Lena and Lucy at it. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Why do we even do this? Why not st stop hating money? Why do I even talk to you? <laughs> Actually, you guys are right. Nice. <sighs> the, the, the chat's just bread. It, it, what? Make the spot Velcro and sell the patches on the store. 
I hate that that's the smartest thing I've ever that's heard. That's a pretty interesting idea. The modular tie dye shirt. Please do imagine that. Imagine you came to one of the whale lands. So we have we have clothing DLC. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. The DLC sweater. You could. Oh my God. The patch could be the same, but could go on multiple products. So you could put the patch on your backpack. All right, Linus, send that email. <laughs> Come on. on. Thank you. On Thank you. That's From all of us. Cool. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, do, do a merch message or something. People I got an email like to it. send. Yeah, I know. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. That's sweet. All right. Okay. I'll give it to you. And we'll do the bread just to thank you for the cool idea. <laughs> Got him. Thank you for playing chat. <laughs> Patches Here. bonus bin? Yeah, maybe. I don't know how much a patch costs. But I have no idea. Um, okay, uh, jeez. Yeah, you can even make the Velcro in a logo or pattern so that it looks good without oh, the patch. L you could do the uh, LTT logo in Velcro. Probably. With the stitching and stuff like that. That yeah. might actually not be that easy. That sounds really hard, yeah. Yeah, because you Is have it? to sew on the Velcro. Oh, so you yeah, have no, to follow It's going to need thing. to be just a patch, <laughs> probably, but we'll... You know, could you do different colors of the Velcro? So could it be like a square, but be have orange LTT in the middle? Have you ever heard the term scope creep? <laughs> oh, can the Velcro have a dark mode? <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> uh, here, while Linus sends that email, I got one for you, Luke. Okay. Before you come over here and strangle me. Uh, <laughs> Hello, lads. Uh, love the content and got into IT because of LTT. Nice. If you guys had to completely rebuild your technical infrastructure Boy. from scratch, what would you do differently? Oh, this, this question changes a lot if you say, like, with the information we had at the time or not, because honestly, I stand by the technical decisions that we made. Um, but if I could have been completely clairvoyant, I uh, would have moved to TypeScript and React a little bit sooner um, and would have not have, would absolutely not have hitched my horse to sales. That's the biggest one. But sales looked really promising at the time. And like a lot of these language or framework or platform or whatever decisions that you end up making, you just kind of got to go off what you have. And when a lot of these things are maintained by, um, companies uh in the in the case of some of them where like it's maybe it's facebook maintaining the language maybe facebook just decides we don't want this thing anymore who cares and then they'll just dump it and then it's not going to be supported for you anymore or uh it's a completely open source thing and the maintainer might just disappear yeah you could pick up that torch but now you're doing a wild amount more work than you originally intended to because your goal was to make this thing on top of it not it and now you're doing both? You might not have enough time for that. You might not have enough budget for that to be able to bring in more developers and stuff. So it is what it is. You're going to make some mistakes sometimes. That's how it goes. I got something good for you. Dealerships can't shift EVs. Around 4,000 American auto dealerships have signed an open letter asking the federal government to moderate its EV adoption targets because they are struggling to offload an excess supply of electric vehicles, despite EV sales hitting record highs. They currently have over a 90-day supply of EVs, only a 30-day supply of internal combustion engine vehicles, and a mere two-week supply of hybrid electric vehicles. Tesla, the leading seller of EVs, is not included in these numbers due to its direct-to-consumer model. There's a bunch of other stuff in here, but my point is I was right. Chevy Volt. Dude, yeah, the hybrid electric. I want a hybrid electric Acura TL. I would be so happy. I, back when I bought the Volt, the only reason I bought it was that the traditional car companies, Honda, do you know how many Honda Clarities they allegedly, this is just based on hearsay from a random Honda dealer. So I don't know if it's accurate or not, but apparently it was like less than 20 clarities. I, was for say, that I thought it was like four entire model year. Yeah. And I think it was a lot less than that, but I am going higher than sure. what I recall just not to sure. make sure that it's the, a greater chance that it's right. Yeah. It was like nothing. I've seen like two on the road ever. Um, it was, it was, it was the car I wanted to buy. Because it has the advantages of EV. I get to drive in the HOV lane. 
I get to um, not burn gas on my daily commute. And it has the advantages of a gasoline car in that I can go long distances and quickly refuel without having to worry about finding public charging infrastructure. It was so obvious, but only because I happened to be a tech nerd and did a whole bunch of research into it. And I am pragmatic to a fault. Most people that the, I know that know of like, like good hybrids, like the Volt, or sorry, most people that I know don't know about good hybrids like the Volt. Yeah. And the problem is that the dealers apparently just had no idea what was going on and people didn't understand it. I remember talking to this other guy at a dealer who was like, yeah, this guy traded in his Volt. And I was like talking to him about it. And he was like, yeah, sorry, what? I just, I just put gas in it the whole time. He drove it for years. And I'm just, I'm sitting here going, are you kidding me? What? Just, I, I, you don't, it doesn't even have to be in your garage. You could just run an extension cord. It comes with a charger that just plugs into the wall. There's literally no reason in BC, Canada, real estate. there is no reason not to use the cheap, cheap electric power that we have. Yeah. It's like the only thing we have going for us. And it's like, financially. Toyota figured it out. Like the, the Prius Prime sucked the first couple generations. The, I shouldn't say it sucked, but the range was not enough. Not enough for my daily commute, not enough for a lot of people's. And so you'd have to put gas in it on a very, very regular basis. I believe the latest model has way better all electric range. And the RAV4 Prime is killing it. I have no idea how long the wait list is for that thing now. But it was just, everyone was going, oh, the problem with gas is... You know, this, it's just gas emissions now and forever and gas is super expensive and blah, blah, blah. And the problem with all electric is the range and these batteries that are so costly and environmentally devastating to extract from the earth. If only there was some solution, but there isn't. <laughs> and, and, and it was staring them in the face the whole time. And not to single out a person, yeah. but a person, one, two, three, on Flowplane said, uh, the big problem with plug-in... <clears throat> Sorry, my, my throat's still a little bit messed up. But the big problem with plug-in hybrids is you have the cost and weight of both drivetrains. Not really, my dude. Not quite. Because yeah. you also don't have the weight of all those batteries. And you also don't need the same kind of chutzpah in your ice drivetrain. Right? And you're not running because, it. Because that's the thing. Like the Volt, for all of its being generally a very boring dad car actually not that bad right off the line because it uses the battery. It uses the electric motors. And the Volt's a weird one because it's technically an EV with an onboard gasoline generator. Yeah. Right? But like at the end of the day, I sort of don't really care how you do it. Yeah. As a consumer, all yeah. I care about is, well, I've got enough power that I can pass someone if I need to. And they can be that, very efficient. Very, very efficient. You're talking about the weight. They can be crazy even, efficient. Even if you are peak dumb and never plug in your Volt, it is a crazy efficient gasoline car. Yeah. It's just way too expensive because the, you paid for a bunch of batteries that you're not using because yeah, you're a big, so big like, dum-dum. That was dumb. But the the like plug-in hybrid Priuses, crazy efficient. The plug-in hybrid Volts, crazy efficient. I'm not worried about the extra weight. Yeah, and the, man, I, I remember talking about this back when we were going into the pandemic. <laughs> GM canceled the Volt at the worst possible yeah. time. The yeah. wor they would have sold so many volts oh. because the big problem with it was that it was expensive with a with a value proposition that was difficult for people to understand. And then all of a sudden, cars were just generally more expensive, so they could have made margin on it. And gasoline went through the roof. Yeah, and it's like, oh, whoops! <laughs> like they, they 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 would have sold thousands and thousands and thousands of them. Yeah. GM hates money, says William Comart. Yeah, I know, right? It's, it's like they try to make the worst possible decisions. <laughs> I just don't know how to deal with it. Like, I, to be clear, I'm not like a fan or anything. I don't care. But just that car, it just made so much sense. It just made so much sense. And uh, it's, it's validating, I guess, to see everyone going, well, this makes sense. Yeah, that's why they only have two weeks of stock of hybrid electric vehicles, because they're so awesome. They're a great middle ground. Yeah, people are not into GM and their decisions in general. I am into plug-in hybrids, though. I I would like to eventually have one. That's the only thing I feel like I'm lacking with my car. 
Literally. Love my Volt so much that after I replaced it, I bought it from myself. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, the car, or the company owns it now, and we just use it to run little errands. Which because makes it's a ton of sense. Perfect for that. Because it's again, perfect. the plug-in hybrid, it's going to be borderline free to drive back and forth between the office buildings. It's going to be borderline free to run into town and grab something and come back. And then if it needs to run really far. Then it can no problem. We have to go pick up a CRT in the interior of BC because sure. we don't want to ship it for whatever. We... Send it. No Send problem. It. Send Super it. efficient. Yep. Comfortable. Easy going. At Linus, that car made no sense on Transformers. Like what? the movie? What? The Volt was in Transformers? I believe so. Okay, that is. Yeah. What? Hmm. Really? Why? Chevy Volt Transformers. That is not how I might have promoted it. Um, Get a supercar? No. Oh, wow. I can't afford that. Jolt. Oh, this was an... Okay. This was a what? huge... This was a huge problem for Chevy. They had the Bolt, okay, which was like an entry-level EV. They had the Volt, which was a completely different car, the plug-in hybrid vehicle. And now, I'm only just learning about this, they had Jolt, a character from Transformers that is a Volt. Are you kidding me? That's really stupid. It also looks really stupid. Like the Transformer looks dumb. Uh, I'm sad now. Very sad. They like Nintendo Wii U'd this car. <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> <laughs> looks like Bumblebee, but dumber. Yeah. I thought that like Bumblebee's translucent blue thing under him was like his beard. They're flying. Ve- they're flying electric vehicle called the Molt. Yeah, I, like exactly. That's what. <laughs> it's really close to Moltres. I started playing Pokemon Go recently. It makes me so sad. I want to go and get my Colt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, you're not playing Final Fantasy VI. I'm ahead in the challenge. Is that no? Yeah. Is that I'm what you're still, saying? So I'm still like mildly sick. So I haven't been able to go to the gym. So I haven't been able and to I'm, play video games. I'm getting really antsy. So I wanted something to yeah. do. And that, that old game, I don't even remember the name of it right now, but the, the game that I was playing to go out for walks for a while there, yeah. I like leveled out. I got to the point where it's better to just sit at home and I'm like, that's stupid. So that's I stopped dumb. playing that game. So I started playing Pokemon Go again and there's all these actually cool things. What I wanted the other game to do, Pokemon Go has been doing this whole time and I just kind of forgot it existed. <laughs> it has like a feature now called Routes. Oh yeah. Where there'll be like a trail and it'll show you how to get to the trail. And if you walk the whole trail, it gives you a bonus at the end. That's cool. It's great. It's cool. Oh, uh, full plane chat. GM Very is Dolts. It was called or- Dolts. <laughs> <laughs> it was called Orna. Yeah. So Orna was cool until you leveled too far and then it sucked. But hopefully they fixed it. I don't know. I haven't played in forever. Hey, how's Final Fantasy VI going? I haven't played more. Terrible. So you All my developers were here and stuff. I didn't have any time. So you haven't even finished I'm gonna play this the... Weekend, you probably. haven't even finished the... Uh, Unless I spend the whole time hanging out with dang pots. The fight in the... Uh, uh, in the In the snow... No, I'm still I'm still pending. I'm all still right, right, okay, there. all right. Yeah. Well, hopefully you remember how to play. Yeah, I mean, I think you'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> um, police warn about name dropping. Uh, huh? Apple's feature name drop. Apparently, both users must agree for any information to tra- for any information transfer to take place between the phones. Um, but the phone, if it is within an inch or two of another, and both phones are unlocked, uh, something something. Potential threat to children. They may not. Okay, I don't really. I don't really understand exactly what the problem is with this. Seems fine. Okay, cool. EA patents self-insert character voices. What? Why would you want to do that? Well, this is this is the ethical version of AI voices in your games. You record your own voice, and then it trains a model. Oh. Interesting. Based on the filing, the system would likely use a sample of the player's speech in order to recreate it during dialogue and perhaps allow them to speak directly to the game's characters depending on the nature of the game. EA appears to be Hmm. attempting to patent the technical aspects of the system rather than the concept in and of itself. Hmm. That's kind of cute, actually. That's an interesting idea. Being able to talk directly is a very interesting idea. That feels like a future step of gaming. 100%. I don't think we're there yet to the point where it would actually be good. But I feel like that'll be a thing for sure. Have we talked about Kalios? Someone in uh, Flipping Chat said police blew it up and then people pointed out that they were missing half the facts. <laughs> That's a yikes. 
Um, so yeah, you 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 lightly mentioned it. I think two shows ago. Okay, okay. So in response to our original call out, um, to our to confirm the rumors that Calios was going to finally offer a full refund to its original crowdfunding backers right. for that yeah. passive case, a community member sent us a September nineteenth post from Calios to backers. In the post, Calios acknowledges that the product that resulted from the campaign. Um, that though it exceeded its promises, did so late and at a significantly higher price point. They exceeded that the product they eventually built. Um, it's really good, you guys, but it's late and at a much higher price point. Um, even if that price point would have been a more realistic target for low volume premium products, that's something, something, something. Anyway, the point is it's late and it's way more expensive, but it is better. That's what they're saying. Um, sorry about that. And any backers who backed the original, worse, cheaper version can get a full refund or the option of a voucher that can be used to buy one of 500 of the new one in a limited copper edition uh, at a 1,200 euro price. Sounds um, kind of sick. If the backer does not want to buy the limited edition one, it will instead be made available for general purchase and the proceeds will be used to refund backers. So this is a quote. We will ensure that every backer who requested a refund gets it. And while the mechanism is formally tied to units being sold for regulatory and accounting requirements, the refund will be honored regardless of your allocated unit being sold. A survey will be sent to backers to confirm their choice. Those who do not respond will be considered as a refund request. Quote, some might argue that this should have been the option from day one. But there have been many factors at play, and without many business compromises, especially from Streetcom, this was simply not a viable option for us until now. Um, so the discussion question here is, would LTT now consider covering Calios? Is this later better than never? Yes. I think so. I want to hear from a backer who requested a refund, who I got, got money. Yeah. And then, you know what? I won't even ask for a review sample. I'll buy one then. I will buy one and review it. That's my deal. I'm not I'm not asking for any any handouts or anything. I just really love this kind of technology. I want to cover it and if they're going to, you know, move forward in good faith to make their backers whole, then, you know, I think that the coverage that I said that I would I would give it when I demanded that they make that option available, um, well, I think that if they're if they're willing to move forward in good faith, then I should make sure that I'm not putting any additional burden on them, and I think we should we should cover it. <clears throat> so I'll I'll buy I'll buy one of those copper limited edition ones or whatever, as long as I actually hear from someone with proof that they got a refund, if assuming they want one. So guys, you'll uh, you'll have to maybe get in touch with us the same way as last time. How how, how did we do that? Uh, I don't remember, but uh, LinusTechTips.com, or LinusTechTips.com, LinusTechTips at gmail.com, I think is our public inbox still. Uh, the previous person that got in touch with us was through the forum. Oh, how'd they, who'd they contact? I don't even know. I don't actually remember how it worked. I helped go with, it happen. Go with the public-facing inbox, the one that's on the go. main LTT channel. Yeah. Have What's, you heard about this? Do you know about this, this next one? Oh, I, was, I went to the Discovery one. Discovery one? Yeah, I actually don't think this other one's that interesting. I mean, it's like cool. But it's not it's very practical. So wacky. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Let's talk about it. Let's talk it, about it's, it. It's it's interesting. It's fine. not realistic at all. Sure. Input lag. Blah blah blah. Anyways, um, running both frame generation and fluid motion frames at the same time. A South Korean tech outlet, uh, Quasar Zone. Yeah. Uh, claims that they have managed to run NVIDIA's frame generation and AMD's fluid motion frame technology simultaneously, although uh, they showed the benchmark results, but no footage, and probably for good reason. Uh, res <laughs> this resulted in an average boost of up to three times the frame rate as gaming at native resolution in 4K and ultra settings. Quasar Zone plugged in an RTX 4090 and an R RX 6600 into the same PC installed both their drivers, then hooked up the primary display to the 6600 while the 4090 was set to the primary GPU in Windows so that the 4090's post-frame gen output passed through the 6600. While the average was good, the 1% lows either barely increased or even decreased for most games. It also increased artifacting and input lag, and I suspect by a rather significant amount. Discussion question. This is a terrible idea. Should we do it? 
I don't know. I uh, it's gotta be rough. This reminds me of the time that we ran SLI and Crossfire. Oh yeah, in the same computer at the same time. Oh, yeah. That was that was so frustrating. Sick. Oh yeah, it was. It made me angry for <laughs> a not insignificant period of time. Like it was really awful. <laughs> It looked um, cool. Yeah, it did. It looked super cool. It looked very cool. And honestly, people didn't even think it was that interesting of a video. Like, I there was a lot of feedback on that video and around that time that we've like jumped the shark and lost touch. And it's like, well, yeah, that's not why we did it. So that you, because we thought it was a good idea, we just thought yeah. it was. We just thought it was kind of wild, cool. I thought it was cool. Um, but it's it's tough, right? Because it's I always still think it's cool. It's always a fine balance, right? Like if we if we do nothing but practical content about how you can build an affordable computer, people will tune out because they're bored. And if we do you know, out there, like, uh, spectacle content, people will tell us we've lost touch, right? And we're like, okay, well, so I have some of this, some of that, some of the, something in between. We just keep throwing spaghetti at the wall. Come on, wall, eat your spaghetti. Just eat it. <laughs> Discovery content has been removed from PS users' libraries. That's right, PlayStation. Sony posted a legal notice stating that the content made by the Discovery Channel that users purchased through them would no longer be available to view after the end of this year. This content will not just be removed from the service, it will be removed from paying customers' libraries. Ooh. This is apparently... Wow. A licensing issue related to Discovery's recent merger with Warner Brothers. And our discussion question here is... Do we own anything we buy online? And the answer is no. No. Have offline copies or you have nothing. And have this message from Dbrand or you have no WAN Show After Dark. That's right. We've got a sponsor for WAN Show After Dark, which Dan is nice. working on. Oh, well, oh, 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 that's cute. Hey. It has a whole Dbrand skin on the on the lower banner. Yeah. Uh, oh, Whoa. wow. Oh, look at that. Of course, it's the new x ray skins ah, that they. You uh, eat them. Okay, that was worth the work that we put into it, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> uh, they launched these as part of the. Linus subsists entirely in your x ray purchases. I do not. Zach from Jerry Bring <laughs> Everything, and you guys are going to make money on these. I mean, I guess you gave some of it to me, obviously. Buy x ray or we stop paying for this spot. <laughs> <laughs> it's very honest. <laughs> you got you got to give him credit for the honesty, man. Yeah, that's legit. <laughs> um, so I guess I'm now I'm now obligated by my responsibility to our shareholders to tell you that you need to buy X-ray. Yeah, <laughs> or else we will not make money. Wow, buy the, uh, buy the real one. You yeah. Know? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Great. So uh, X-Ray is the line of skins that they launched to showcase to find what innovation actually looks like. <laughs> uh, or what was it? Originality. Or what originality actually looks like. That's the word that yeah. Case Defy used. All right. I guess it's merch message time Ooh. then. That's I amazing. guess so. Let's see. I guess we'll actually talk about merch. Yeah, hit Hold me on, the float plane chat. The skins are not edible. <laughs> <laughs> Just calm down, you Stop. guys. Stop. <laughs> Don't. Should we uh, should we check with Dbrand if they want to just do? I I don't know how many we would sell. Like maybe even just a few hundred. Maybe we could just do like I, I don't know the latest iPhone and the latest like S whatever from Samsung, but just like a float plane logo skin or something like oh, that. That'd be sick. You know, maybe not even a skin. Maybe just. I love how you would do the float plane logo skin in a phone that I don't have. <laughs> I, I like sure Pixel. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. Okay, so we do we do we do, okay okay look. Look, I'm trying to make everyone happy here, okay? You know what? Forget it. It's probably going to be too much work for those guys anyway <laughs> yeah. to support it because we probably wouldn't sell more than like a couple hundred. I'm assuming they need pretty crazy quantities for their types of runs. It's surprising how much development it takes to make a sticker. And the funny thing is like, we know. I, I was reading the blog post about um, the Series X white edition 
um, where Microsoft kind of wrote up this thing about how changing the color was super non-trivial because uh, there, and this is all stuff that we know from, remember how it took so long for us to launch new color with the skin. screwdriver? Oh my God, that would actually probably... No, that would that be, would, I, we'd sell dozens. Anyway. Oh, I, yeah, I don't know. Okay, back to the, um, back to the, my, my, oh yeah, the, back to the Xbox thing. Um, we learned this when we were changing the color of the screwdriver. It's not simple they went and they shot it in the different color plastic and realized they had all these swirls they had these marks that were not visible in black where the uh where the plastic was flowing and it was like the most nightmarish tiny upgrade ever yeah and i i think that's something that people often don't appreciate whether it's a sticker or whether it's a different color of plastic or whether it's uh whether it's a uh, a sound Making a product is easy. Making a product at scale is hard. Making a good product at scale where you actually care, that's really, really hard. And it kind of doesn't matter what it is. If, if you care enough, you'll find a way to make it hard. <laughs> like, because if it was easy, somebody else would already be doing it. Which is what I always tell my kids. Anyway, Dan, hit me. Sure, sure, sure. Um, let's have a look here. LLD, any updates on the ump coming laptop messenger bag? Now that I'm starting to game on my lunch breaks, I'd like something not as big as the legendary LTT backpack. Mm, I'm checking. I have my my update uh, email from Nick. I don't see anything about it in there, but I, I think we're I think it's I think development is done and we're just waiting on finalizing our initial order quantities. It's going to nice. be awesome honestly i gotta tell you i know what my rules are but i'm tempted to just offer it as a pre-sale because i know it's really good it's based on the same dna as the backpack um and it would help us a lot in terms of figuring out what our order quantities should be yeah w calderini says it's money from me yeah i, kn I know i know a lot of people are waiting for it but i don't know if a lot is a thousand or ten thousand or a hundred thousand i have should, no idea you should do you should like what what justifies it? A review? Justifies it? What like what makes it okay? Well, the line we drew in the sand before was it's not a pre-order, it's a back order because it had been available to real individual retail customers who have, were given an opportunity to use it and review it. Would the timeline line up with one of the lands? No, probably not. Oh, damn. Yeah, like if we just go mass production, then well, we're, we have to commit now. Like we have to decide right now, right. essentially. Right. So in order for us to, to, to do any kind of... Um, no, we didn't pre-sell the screwdriver. We back-ordered the screwdriver. We sold some screwdrivers, and then it was a while before we were going to have stock, and sold we took back-orders. quite a few screwdrivers. Yeah, we yeah, sold a lot of screwdrivers. Um, and like, it seems fair to do that again. Yeah, it's really hard. It is. It adds a ton of overhead. If it's not something where we're sure we're going to sell tens of thousands of units, it just doesn't make any sense. We might as well just order fewer of them, and if it sells out, it sells out, and we'll order some more. Um, so it's 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 tough. People are saying no pre-order, and it's like, yeah, I know, but you also don't have to order it. We we do have the trust me grow the trust me grow <laughs> uh, the trust me bro guarantee. Would it make like, you feel better? If you have a problem, we'll deal with it. Would it make you feel better if yeah. there was like a little banner being like? Don't no, pre-order. No one has been able to order this yet. <laughs> no one has been able to review this yet. You we are. always recommend against pre-ordering. Yeah, but like you can if you want, I guess. <laughs> it's like super chats. We don't stop you from doing super chats. Yeah, We just true. tell you to do merch Some people are super mad about that. Why? I don't know. Because it's hypocritical or because it it's... Because... I don't know. They find a way to make it evil because I will allow people to throw money at the screen even though I advise them not to. It's like, why? I, I, it's a free country. <laughs> Send, throw money at the screen if you want to. I can't stop you. I, I make it really clear how to interact with the show. It ain't super chats. Yeah. Um, There's no obligation to like respond to or deal with super chats even if that's the only one that you have. Yeah, I don't know. I'll uh, maybe, maybe I'll talk to Maybe I'll talk to the buys about it. Um, the buys? <laughs> this is great. Uh, the hammock guy. I don't think you should do it because principles. But I'll pre-order one if you do it. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why microtransactions <sighs> exist. Yeah. What's the buy, guys? Okay, that's a reference. <laughs> 
We were, uh, we were, uh, this is also during the upcoming AMD Ultimate Tech Upgrade. Um, is this an Elijah thing? Elijah and I were yeah, doing course. something, and we were, we were trying something, and we were, we were just kind of riffing, and we were like, yeah, we're like the try guys, except there's two of us, so we're the buy guys. <laughs> like, oh, wait. <laughs> wait, so you're going to ask Elijah? To do what? You said I'll ask the buy guys. No, 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 the buys. Oh, like, sure. it's, it's just like Eastern Canadian boys. Oh. Me and the buys. Wow. Yeah. All right. It's going out for a rip there, bud. Sure. Me and the buys. You don't use any Canadian specific slang. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Cool. Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 244 for you right here, Linus. Yeah. Sure. Hey, DLL, Linus, what aspects of your company's culture are you most proud of developing or maintaining now that you've built Linus Media Group into a 100-person employee company? It's hard for me to say because the, the floor. view that I get of our... <laughs> not our proud of that. Just happens every day. Yeah. World class. World class <laughs> pee on the floor. World class. <laughs> Maybe in Luke's water bottle. <laughs> Prove it's not in I there. I filled it myself. It's everywhere. <laughs> Stop! Right. I mean, you get yours all over yourself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's um, happening? Um, <laughs> it's went after dark. Why did I start this? <laughs> Um, it's hard for me to tell because <sighs> I never see the same view that other people see. And I never wanted that to be true. I always wanted yeah. to be one of the gang and just, you know, in the thick of it. And I, I like working in the trenches with everybody. Right. But the reality of it is that I see a very different side of people than they see of each other, because whenever I'm around, the boss is watching. And that's, as much as I don't want that to be the case, that, that is how it is. And, and you, I mean, okay, coming I mean, back to I've my... I've felt that a lot over the last few days, unfortunately. That I was watching you? No, or? no, no. Oh, like being... The mode and tone shifts when I would get close. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And like, to be clear, I get, like, I get it. Go, yeah. Going back to the thing with the backpack earlier, it's like, when I see something wrong, instantly, it's, 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 not even, it's not even a conscious thought. I'm like, okay, investigate and fix. And, you know, sometimes the thing that's going wrong is what someone else is doing, right? Like, and it's, um, and, and uh, it doesn't have to be in like an evil or nasty way or anything, but it is, it is something that I, I'm very passionate about, that I obviously have a lot a lot tied up in i have a lot riding on the success of this company and you know i want to i want to make sure that it continues to be successful for myself and obviously for the other people who work here as who as far as i can tell still want to work here and still want it to exist right so it's um it's it's tough and so i think you know a thing that i'm really proud of is that people are are able to give feedback without fear of repercussions but it's possible that some people do feel fear and that's something that I, I, I want us to never lose track of continuing to try to improve. So um, having, having scheduled times for people to give feedback, I mean, going back to, I think, was it the first year or the second year that we started doing annual reviews that I gave you guys the form ahead of time and asked you to fill them out for me as well, should you, should you desire? It was not the first year. Because okay. the first year's annual reviews were like super weird. Yeah, that was really awkward. <laughs> it was. It was probably one of the most stark turning points from bros in a garage to yeah. corporate that we ever underwent. It was also like in my room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in Luke's, or as corporate as it can be, when it's in Luke's basement suite that is under the office that he rents from me. In the bedroom portion. In the bedroom. Well, okay. In fairness, why? Yeah, why did you not sleep in the proper bedroom of the suite? I forget. Well, there wasn't one. I th yeah. Well, okay. It didn't have a window, but it was like kind of a bedroom-like format. No, when you just came down the stairs, that room. So that was all I had at the beginning. What? Because no, we didn't meet there though. No, you rigid. were in the you were in the other side when we when we had our first annual reviews, I believe. No, I could be wrong. Am yeah. I? Was that the second one then? Maybe. Oh wow! Did we really meet in the little like the, oh, yeah. the dungeon room? Hundred <laughs> percent. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely happened. I remember that meeting. Oh no. <laughs> 
I wow. also remember the other one. So that must have been, yeah, year two. Yeah, okay. Because eventually right. I had the whole thing. But at the beginning, I just had the like little cubby basically that's amazing anyway yeah. um yeah so so we we encourage we encourage feedback um i, I think part of it part <laughs> of the challenge now is i um don't say that <laughs> i know i know i know <laughs> float plane chat anyway <laughs> I think part of the problem now is that I don't get to interact personally with everyone and I don't get to build that rapport. So it used to be that I think everyone knew that they could give me honest feedback. They could tell me if they didn't think my work was very good. They could tell me if they didn't think that my assessment of their work was fair. Um, these days, I, I, don't, I don't think so, but I think that if there's, if there's one thing that I can can still say it's that uh, we still try and we will we will always continue to try and that's something that I'm very proud of because I think that's how we continue to get better. I think it helps that uh, a lot of the people from back then are still around. So that mentality or the How do I say this? I feel like I'm lacking the words. Um the people who did it when we were like small and agile and it wasn't that hard to do it can can testament to the fact that it was done and it is a thing and it is still a thing if you know what i mean and i think that helps the culture might not completely solve that problem because i don't think you can and it helps but it's hard for those people to even tell if it's helping when now they're That's also happening to them. in such a position of power yeah. that they may not be able to see everything yeah yeah like yeah. there's always going to be some insulation go on yeah yeah and the more layers there are the more insulated I am and like, I just, I want to continue to try to do things like, okay. All right. We just had our company Christmas party this, uh, this yeah, Wednesday. It's fun. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was really good. It was weird. It's always weird. I think is it's always weird, right? It's always a little weird. Yeah. Um, but not in a bad way. One of, we have, we have a couple sort of main principles for the Christmas party. One is that it's not work. It is not content. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Two, is that it needs to be memorable. <laughs> yeah, they're always memorable. <laughs> they're always. <laughs> <laughs> always. <laughs> I have very distinct memories from all of them. Some weird <laughs> shit happens. Yeah. <laughs> and not, not in like a, you know, like drugged out or like in anything like that. We, we run it kind of like a wedding party. Yeah. That's a really good reference, actually. Yeah, yeah. So we'll play like games where everyone gets up out of their chairs and goes and just... Okay, we played a game this year that involved like uh, like like flag capture, like like you you have a like a belt with a with a tail, um, like what 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 kind of games are played like that? Like, it's just um, I think flag football is the best reference. Yeah, yeah. But you weren't allowed like running and stuff, and then you had you had people inside that had to steal the flags, yeah. and then you had to hand off the flag to a designated hacker. And the hacker had to use codes that were on the flags to like break into locks. What I thought was hilarious <laughs> was the amount of people from my team that were designated the hackers. Because there's all like the developers and stuff that were distributed amongst all the tables. So like half the hackers were just people <laughs> from my team. <laughs> Which was great. I thought that was really funny. Yeah, the theme was, uh, the theme was this year was sort of events that yeah. took place so so that game was obviously about the hack um i don't know just I, and you know what most of the time the games don't really work out the way that we envisioned but yeah. they're always this year was pretty rampant with cheating <laughs> <laughs> on both games it was like brutal <laughs> but i mean whatever it's just supposed to be fun right yes like, i don't know yeah and I, I i like to think people have we we uh we, they we were have costumes very fun we dress up yeah uh what what year did that start was that the year that we did the, like, was that the, the 10 million subscriber year? I think that was one of the years when I was banned. Well, you weren't banned. You just weren't invited. <laughs> I was not allowed. That's the same as banned. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can, you can flavor that wording as much as you want. It's a little more nuanced than what not Luke is. Not that much. It's a little it's more pretty nuanced. Close. It's a little more nuanced. <laughs> And I think that would be a much longer conversation than we're going to be having about it right now. Speaking of people not being afraid to speak, th speak their minds without fear of retaliation. You f yeah, never been a problem. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe it should be more of a problem. <laughs> I was the one that was banned. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, uh, we, we started it the... It is more nuanced than that. I'm just trolling. <laughs> <laughs> Very effectively. <laughs> Anywho, we, uh, we started this costume thing. And the first year, um, we were like, hey, there's going to be a theme. And you should, you should dress up according to the theme. And we didn't say why they should do that. And so some people did. Did some not people that didn't. many? It was, I think it was about 50-50, maybe. Uh, so the people that showed up... a higher percentage now. <laughs> the people that... Well, I was getting to that. But yeah, the people that showed up uh, found out that there was like a costume contest. And there was, uh, there was awards. And you could get tickets for having the most inventive or having the most... Um, complicated or I forget I forget or the funniest or whatever else and uh, no one knew what the tickets were for but we were giving out tickets all night for participating in the games and for for uh, dressing according to the theme of the party and everything like that and then at the end it turned out that the tickets were for a raffle that had crazy crazy stuff in it uh, like just crazy and so overnight from the first one to the second one, we went from tepid participation to near one hundred percent. No, I think was we were actually we were over one hundred percent participation this year, because even year? non-employees were dressed according to the theme of the night. Mm. So I consider that over one hundred percent participation. Okay, so a non-employee counts towards the. Yeah. then I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. we're over hundred percent. Did you see? Did you see what Emma's was? I thought it was hilarious. I thought I don't it was think so I caught funny. Emma's. I'm so sorry. She, she came late, so it's not too surprising. But she had she wore one of my. Uh, oh, this year the theme was the food groups. Yeah. So my my team was uh, cereal. Um, so she she threw this together like super last minute because she didn't know plus ones were supposed to dress up because I got the news of the theme while I was in Japan. So whatever, whatever, whatever. I didn't even know plus ones were supposed to dress up. Were they? It, it's not supposed to, oh, but they okay. were invited but, to. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so she grabbed one of my Donut Media merch shirts that has just cans of beans on it because give it the beans or whatever. Sure. And she crossed out with green painters tape all of the cans except for two of them. And then wore a name tag that just said Sam. Two can Sam. Actually, so funny. And I think, I think like almost nobody got it. So it didn't get like the credit that it deserved, but it was great. It was so good. It was so cool seeing uh, what some of the teams put together. Riley was, uh, was a super ethical farmer. And then, oh, yeah. yeah, and his team yeah. was. The, I really like the whole team, like the live animals. Yeah, and then like the product of the animals, and then they had a butcher. Um, what was what was the chef's name? I forget. I don't remember the chef's name, but he had a, a Minecraft sword. Yeah, which was great. and and so like during the the during the judging, we had the plus ones do like an applause meter, like judging thing, and. Uh, Riley would like bring the animals to the butcher and he'd like kill them and then they'd, <laughs> they'd have the product. I don't know. It was, uh, it was, it was a whole, amazing. Yeah, it I was love a whole like thing. cohesive, everybody has to be involved for it to work well themes. Yeah, I think yeah. those are great. Yeah. Super cool. Uh, oh, uh, sweets, a candy. Candy was um, <clears throat> a bunch of M&Ms and then David dressed up as a sugar daddy. <laughs> His costume was amazing. <laughs> I was having a really hard time with cereal. I couldn't figure out anything. I, I kept leaning towards like, do I run with it too far and do like cereal killer? But I was like, no. Yeah, it's almost too obvious. Yeah. No, I thought this. I thought the cereal team did a great job. And then I, I liked what I ended up coming up with. I So <laughs> Joe and I were making our costumes together. Yeah. But we went to go do it at my place. And Joe needed to use like uh, oil markers and uh, oh, okay. glue and stuff. So we were like, okay, well, we can't do this because the birds, so we can't have fumes. So we were sitting in the lobby of my apartment. Oh my gosh. Making the costumes and people kept walking by while I'm like making Cheerios out of cardboard <laughs> and he's drawing a ketchup label on felt. <laughs> Just some of, the, some of the looks we got were, were amazing. <laughs> no one asked like, why are you doing this here? No one asked that question. Which was amazing. Because it was obvious. Because you can't do it somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. Clearly. I mean, no one would choose to be there. 
Yeah. Anyway, it was really it was it was really fun. It was a total blast. Um, massive shout out Andy for being our photographer. I get to actually have like good pictures of everything for a change because. Yvonne and I are usually just like running around like chickens with our heads cut off and like we don't really get to process any of it um, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited to look back at the pictures and we for once remembered to take a group photo I forget who was like wait 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 what about a group photo like after I'd been like okay thanks everyone good yeah. night drive safe yeah. uh, <laughs> we've missed a few of those yeah we, we, we have so few group pictures yeah. as a company yeah i i wish it's we actually like, like a weird amount the few that exist like remember that that silly one we took where we all piled on the couch before we moved into the new office like that's an amazing photo i wish we had more of that yeah you know me too. we just we were so busy doing it we forgot that we might want to look back at it that, someday that is a very legendary photo though <laughs> i'm do i'm happy we have at least that one it makes up for quite a lot yeah that was uh <clears throat> that was before anyone had left yeah. So at least, you know, we, at least we have that. Yeah. You know, there was no one that we like missed getting a group picture with in those days. One person left. There was one, no. You don't mean the intern. No. There was one person that was fired. Oh, I don't count that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Anywho. What do you got? Hi, DLL. I'm a construction equipment operator from Pennsylvania. Nice. What's your take on tech in construction, like autonomous equipment, Ooh. off-site control, trucks that shut down automatically, or GPS farming? GPS farming. GPS farming. Super cool. Yes. Oh, we're... <laughs> <laughs> this is the wavelength. And Why are you it. so passionate about that? Both it's of you. It's super cool. Well, yeah. No, but I mean, you jumped on that immediately. Well, yeah, but it's also, it's, it's, it's basically, depending on what you're trying to do, it's, it's basically a robo vacuum. I mean, yeah, it's, so, like, it's awesome. The things that could go wrong compared to autonomous equipment in like construction. This is the exact thought I was having. Yeah. Autonomous equipment in construction sounds terrifying. Like it's just a plow. Offsite control. Just plow. Sounds like you're missing a lot of sensory information for safety yeah. reasons. Trucks that shut down automatically sounds really bad. Like I, I, don't, I, I don't know about you, but I want actual humans operating the heavy machinery yeah. for better or for worse but, i want trained actual humans for now but gps farming yeah cool is sick all right <clears throat> hey wan.dll and greetings from europe linus will you get your hands on the ionio with mini led and how do you see mini led compared to oled um i actually wasn't aware of it yet i am super happy with uh I love the RG Ally and I love the Steam Deck OLED and I'm not sure which one to play Octopath Traveler on. I, I started it and I'm actually not really enjoying it though. I, I got to the first like boss fight in the first scenario, got my ass absolutely handed to me in a way that I just don't, I didn't even really understand. It felt which com game again? Sorry? completely unfair. Octopath Traveler. Oh yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe uh, yeah, maybe it's maybe it's Pebcat, maybe it's user error. Uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, but also it's just it's just felt kind of like shallow so far. I don't know. And yeah, I'm I'm sure it's a skill issue, but I just I don't know. It, it's a, it's a new game, so it doesn't come with a manual. Um, it showed showed me how to you know stack up attacks or whatever. But I'm sitting here going like, what I'm supposed to. I'm I'm supposed to need like multiple potions to heal my guy in like the first boss fight. I thought I'm just still learning the game mechanics. But then my understanding of the game is that you play all eight of the campaigns. So I guess they have to be difficult enough that by the time you're doing the eighth one, which is the same whether you play it first or last, it still has to be challenging There's, and interesting. There, like, there are games know. that have done difficulty shifting based on your order before. I guess so. Like they can scale each one. Yeah, I don't know. Um Anywho. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, right. So I can't decide. I, I couldn't even decide which one to play it on. I, I really like them both. I, I don't. Mini LED is cool, but I, I see it as kind of a stepping stone to OLED as long as your use case isn't going to have burn and be an enormous problem for you. And I would, I would rather just have OLED, but the Steam Deck is not as powerful as the Ally. Right now, they're both great options. I can't even decide which one I would want to play a game on. As a dev manager at Technology Corporation, laying off 50% of the team, I had to inform those affected, despite not making the call. 
Have you ever delivered news that impacted people's lives while being limited by HR script? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's honestly part of the gig. That's a huge thing. Like in BC, um, if you give someone a reason for parting ways, uh, they can take that reason and twist it into... Um, a huge variety of different things. Yeah, huge, huge variety of different things. So the, the, the legal advice we get now is you just have to say, it's not working out, we're going in a different direction. If they ask why, you basically just say, it's not working out, we're going in a different direction. That's like, that feels so unfair you just, to me. But you, you And it's frustrating because you really want to like help that person in that moment. Yep. But you like legally can't. It's just... Or you open yourself up to a bunch of liability, which feels kind of ridiculous. Yep. All right. Hey, DLL, long-time listener, first-time caller. Linus, was your, what was your experience like getting fitted for your big screen beyond? I'm currently in the process of getting mine exchanged for a narrower IPD. They nailed it. I don't know. Yeah, I guess uh, bad luck. With seemingly more and more GoV sponsorships lately, would it be possible to persuade them to support an open API to enable things like Home Assistant integrations? Um, I've raised this as a concern with the business team. I think they're bringing it to GoV and figuring out sort of what the sitch is right now. Love listening to y'all while working. Luke, what is the project you regret the outcome of most? <laughs> pizza! <clears throat> Sorry, I... My actual first something thought caught in my throat. did it go was cold. to Pizza Heater Computer. <laughs> uh, my first thought did go to Pizza Heater Computer, but I think I'm going to say the um, the post feature on Floatplane, which is interesting because people use it now. But uh, anyway, so the, the post feature, basically we were trying to do creator recruitment and we just had video and a bunch of people were like, <laughs> Oh, you need you need audio and picture and text or else it's like not everything. And like we'll join once you do that. And we were like, okay. So we spent six months doing that. We did it. And then poof, nobody cares. <laughs> it's just like, oh man. Uh that's that's one of the points in time where we shifted to like, okay, we're gonna make stuff for the creators that are on the platform. I've personally used posts, just so you know. Now, for whatever reason, it's used actually quite a bit. Yeah. Nice. Like a lot of the creators use it. And a lot of people found very good ways to use it, stuff like that. But when we first launched it, nobody used it. It's a workflow thing. I understand yada, yada, but like it's, it was, it was depressing at the time. Um, but I mean, yeah, I'm happy we have it now because it's like actually very commonly used. It also allows you to have multiple things per upload. So like someone could upload a video with individual graph files attached to it. Um, uh, yeah, there's like lots of other stuff. There was for the behind the scenes of the, what it's like to work at LTT videos, uh, or not behind the scenes for the extended cuts of that. There was like so many videos that they ended up uploading them in, in clumps so that you didn't get like 10 billion notifications. It was good. Linus, what about doing a quarterly or bi-monthly merch update instead of with WAN updates? I feel like it would be easier to go much more in depth and it would be easier to find specific updates. Uh, the intention is for that to take place in the Creator Warehouse newsletter at some point. We've had a really hard time just with being busy with other things, being on top of that and doing them regularly enough. But at some point, I want that newsletter to be that content that you're asking for here. I think we talk about merch enough on the show as it is. Um, <laughs> and I don't think we can avoid talking about it every week because so many people ask us about it. So I don't think we're going to move to just consolidated monthly talking about merch sessions. And I don't think that um, adding monthly to the already weekly ones we're doing is going to be the way to go. I think, I think getting that newsletter up and running is, is probably our best bet. With modern CPUs getting hotter and hotter... Um, at what point is it necessary to commit to an AIO or water cooler? <laughs> uh, well, it's complicated, right? Today, but also never. Uh, AIOs are not always the best solution. Like if I was going Threadripper, um, do those thermosiphon guys still exist? Because that's what I'd want. Uh, Threadripper. Yeah, this thing. Ooh, sick. Uh, do they do they support the the new ones though? 
Mm, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I don't see anything about the new ones. Uh, do they have like news, media, reviews, blog, anything? Uh, okay, I don't, I don't know. Um, anyway, Ice Giant, super cool products. Can I, can I, can I buy it? I, I can just buy it. Uh, yeah, I think they probably still have some work to do for mounting for the new Threadripper, but I, I honestly, I'd rather have something like this than a water cooler just because it's fewer points of failure. You don't have to worry about the pump failing. So, it says there's 16 left, but that number hasn't been going down, and there's none in there. Oh, okay, I see. So um, there's one in incoming? I, think I don't, that's it? I don't think I have an answer for this one, Thor. I can't think of a feature in a game that was removed after the game got an update that has bothered me. Luke, can you think of a feature in a game that was removed? I've been removed? trying to think about this. Not really, to be honest. Um, I know this is a thing, but it's not something that I've, like, tracked uh, like nerfing weapons and stuff like that, you know, obviously, you know, that kind of sucks if that you're into that meta. Yeah, but it's not a feature. Yeah, it's not a feature. I can't so, think of Something that features. I've complained about recently was Battlebit had a, a map and mode voting system mm. and they just turned it into like a random slot machine mm. instead of voting. Okay, well, um, I think that's a great example. But then they brought it back. <laughs> okay, but, but, but you were but mad. Yes, yeah, I think that's the best one that I got. Yeah, I mean, this didn't. This wasn't removed from Halo Infinite because it was always stupid like this. But not being able to select what game mode you want to play, yeah. not being able to say, "Yeah, I just want to play Capture the Flag tonight," <laughs> um, that was removed compared to how it should work. But it was always like that, which is ridiculous. And I think that's pretty much it for tonight. Oh, update on the rain cover for the backpack. Asks Bryce B. Okay. We've got our sample of something that I'm ready to press go on, except the pricing is a big problem. And the pricing is my fault because I wanted the Rainfly to turn the backpack um, reflective because anytime there's rain, there can be visibility challenges. Oh yeah, that's and, a big benefit. And I really wanted the bag to be black to match our look, but also be high vis. So we've got this really cool graphic that is a collaboration between, um, it's sort of based on some of Lloyd's artwork, but then it was adapted by a relatively new member of our creator warehouse team, Lisa. And it's like kind of mountains and like, I don't know, constellations and stuff. It's like super cool. That sounds and awesome, then in the initial actually. meeting about it, I was like, oh man, how cool would it be? Because we had two different options for the reflective material. We had the kind of like gray high vis one and then you know that like rainbow reflective material okay so we ordered So this is gonna look sick so we ordered samples with the just like the gray one and with the rainbow one and i was like oh you know it'd be really cool if we had like gray mountains and like rainbow northern lights <laughs> that sounds awesome that one's gonna be like 60 or 70 dollars because it's now a multi-stage process but it sounds actually amazing but it's gonna look amazing um so we're 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 trying to figure out what to do do we do we go forward with it and just have like the world's most expensive rain fly or do do That's we pretty wicked though. or do we do the same thing and just have one color and have it be way cheaper do you know what the difference would be i don't remember exactly but it's yeah. a lot it's it's more than you'd think because it ma takes this like ju ju one stage thing and it turns it into like a multi-stage thing. Right. Yeah. It, it like, it, it kind of fucks up the, the, the process. Yeah. 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 So I love the idea of the two mode. Yeah. That is a little expensive. Yeah. That's, it's very expensive. I guarantee you some people would buy it, but yeah. see, I don't want to just do the rainbow guys because the viz is not as high and functionality first it's, it's like safety first no but like for real um all right anyway i think that's it thanks for tuning into the wan show you guys we'll see you again next week same bad time same bad channel bye i'm surprised so many people had stuff to buy after all the crazy promos we had for black friday yeah